to the senders. The arrow of paralysis shall go back to the senders. Something is happening over there. All the noises in the head, powers pulling your hair, pulling you even away from your bed, and giving you awkward materials to swallow your dream. They shall all depart. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Masepo katali katira bosanda. Ribo sapanda kayaba. It is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Every stranger, stranger of affliction, stranger of infirmity, stranger of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, strangers of destiny waster, your time is up now. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, I bind you and I cast you out. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Those powers that are saying that your life will not change, I bury them now. In the name of Jesus, I bury them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every affliction that moves from one part of the body to the other, every affliction that is mobile in nature, I bind your power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Check your body now. Once you know that you have been healed, find a way quickly to the altar. Don't let the enemy put it back. Don't let the enemy put it back. I'm going to pray one single prayer now. If you know you are the one concerned, just shout a sevenfold Goliath destroying amen. If you know you are concerned. If you are not concerned, you may not bother until it gets to the prayers that concerns you. Father, I decree upon the lives of anyone in this garden or listening to us anywhere and what they are going through is that the enemy has blocked all roads all roads are blocked such people here or hearing me anywhere in the name of jesus receive your deliverance now
Yes. Silence. 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 You, that stubborn spirit husband, that you have planted your own babies in the womb of this woman, thereby preventing her from getting pregnant and killing the right babies. But see Karibo Sandia, right there where you are, release that woman now in the name of Jesus. every clinical prophecy upon your health every clinical prophecy upon your health every clinical prophecy upon your health by the power in the blood of Jesus I cancel it now yes all those who are here or you are connecting to us anywhere and you are being troubled by witchcraft forces the sentence of scripture is suffer not a witch to live. Every power of witchcraft troubling anyone here in the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I command you to die. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm praying for all who are here and you are listening to me now. Anytime good things are coming your way, Battles will increase. Father, anyone going through that kind of affliction now, I command them to receive their deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is now time for you to pray. One prayer. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours in that prayer. It is a prayer that brings heaven down. It's a prayer that divides the Red Sea. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? name in my life open your mouth and pray like that Oh yes, Papota Setenda Kaya Boshantia.
In Jesus' name we pray. I decree upon your life that affliction will never rise again. It is well with you. We are here for serious business. Very serious business. Maseka lekarebosa. Narama sente la kaya boshente. Ribosepia lekatende kaya boshente rabosente yaba. Every power that has been stealing from you for this past few years or since you were born. The Bible says, if a thief be caught stealing, he shall restore sevenfold what he has stolen. Every power that has been stealing from you, sevenfold. Recover what has been stolen from you now. Amen. Stretch your right hand towards me at the altar here. Something is about to happen now that will change your life forever. Father, these hands. They are our instruments of labor. These hands are instruments for our destiny. These hands that are stretched towards this altar by the power that spoke in the beginning and said, Let there be light. By the power that told Moses to stretch his rod on the Red Sea. By the power that energized the stones of David to bring down Goliath. By the power. That push error to fall. Let these hands receive uncommon power. Let the fire of the God of Elijah fall upon these hands now in the name of Jesus. Let these hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power, the hands of strength. The answer of glory in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. If you have any infirmity in your body, when I say one, two, three now, you will strike the place 21 times. Don't feel sorry for the place. And as I strike in it, say, Come out and enter no more in the name of Jesus. Come out and enter no more in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, go. Do it well, do it well. Bapota sepeli kaya boshenta. Aha, 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 do it well, Jesus. Amen. Now check your body. Do whatever you were not able to do before. Some strange illnesses have vanished now some people have received strength so if you are now you are now able to do what you could not do before after yes. smiting it run quickly to this altar here Jesus is still waiting for you here we are here for serious business and the enemy is in trouble yes if you smite and you find that you have been healed don't let the devil bring it back just come straight to the altar now right there where you are Pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords.
Jesus. Amen. Silence. I'm going to count seven from here now. At the count of seven, the power of God will strike some single ladies here. These single ladies, only wrong people are coming to you. The power of God will strike you where you are, and that evil magnet shall disappear from your life. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, beloved. All eyes closed. I'm going to count another seven from here. As I count this seven, there are some people here. They are making money, but the enemy is swallowing the money. They have businesses, but the enemy is sucking the business dry when i count to seven the demon that is separating you from profit that has been stealing your prosperity will separate from you instantly you may not be able to stand on your feet but don't worry one two three four five six seven Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A sevenfold amen. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. Shout it in your language. Thank you, Jesus as we enter into the final session of our program today please up your two hands to the lord to sing this song loud and clear make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours let the living water flow while my soul let the holy spirit come and take control of every situation that has strong my heart oh yes all my guests I'm born unto you I oh Jesus 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 And sing to the Father. 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 Blessed Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Hey. 
Jesus, 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 our oh, Lord. Shout it loud and clear, Jesus. We are gathered before you here. Your word says, Any tree not planted by the Father shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Father, any trouble harassing anybody's star or destiny, they qualify for every tree not planted by the Father. The tree of frustration, the tree of stagnation, the tree of disappointment, the tree of infirmity, any tree planted in the life of anyone here or anyone connecting to us here by the power in the blood of Jesus, I uproot them now. will move on your behalf thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray please sit down now and let's take our bibles let all the sisters who are here shout hallelujah let me hear the brothers who shout hallelujah For the next few minutes, listen to me very attentively. Because there are certain things I want you to reject. I want you to reject it seriously. That is what is going to form the basis of our next round of prayers. For a few minutes, let me talk to you about crushing destiny killers. Crushing destiny killers. Gospel according to St. John chapter 18 verse 37 John 18 37 crushing destiny killers it's good to listen very carefully John 18 37 Pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king then Jesus answered thou seest that I am a king to this end was I born. Can you say that and let me hear you? Say it again. Let me hear the sister say it. Brothers, shout it loud. To this end was I born. Meaning, I was born born to do this and for this cause came I into the world to this end was I born and for this cause came I into the world that is the definition of the word destiny why you were born why you came to the earth that is destiny if a man is not doing why is not doing what he was born to do you become a toy in the hand of the enemy i decree upon somebody here those powers that have been toying with your destiny 
before we leave this holy ground today, they shall be buried alive. A seven fold man. That I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heard my voice. In Matthew now, chapter 26, verse 24. Matthew 26, 24. The next series of prayer, if you pray it and you lose your voice, it is worth it. Because no man can succeed outside his divine destiny. Everything you are doing outside your divine destiny is a waste of time. Matthew 26, 24. It says, The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. As it is written of him. Another definition of destiny. What is written of you? If your own son of man is going as it is not written, then the enemy has a right to mess you up. I'm praying once more here this morning. Any power time with your destiny shall be buried alive. A louder amen. Now look at Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Look at somebody who understood his destiny. Look at his testimony. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. This is Paul writing. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. Another definition of destiny, your course in life. Listen, beloved. No man is born to come to the world to hang around. The moment you are born, your time begins. And that time is not your friend. That time will not wait for you. God has beautiful destinies for all of us. But unfortunately, many are born destined for greatness, but they are living in the dark room. Many were born to excel, but very early in their lives, the enemy has worked hard on them so that they won't grow into a beautiful adult. It is that battle we are here to fight. In every child of destiny, there is this inward thing pushing you forward. And once the enemy kills that motivation, then it's a serious problem indeed. There is a difference between living long and living effectively. Methuselah was the boldest man recorded in scripture. But we didn't read anything that he did. While Noah was building altars and serving God and do this and that, we did, you know, Methuselah just grew old and died. All we read about Methuselah is that he begat children, he began children, he began children and he died. That's all. You are born to contribute something to life, that's why you are unique. It is a major tragedy if at the age of 30 and 40 and 50, you cannot give an account that you are living inside your destiny. There is nothing more tragic than you to forfeit your divine destiny. You were born to be remarkable. No one else in the world is like you. Your genes, your genetic makeup belong only to you. Your fingerprints are personal. There are no similar fingerprints anywhere in the world. What you are today, beloved, is a result of your design, your configuration. No man is anything accidentally. No man becomes anything accidentally. It is important that we ask Jesus to walk back into our childhood days, to walk back into our mother's womb, and resolve whatever issue has put us in trouble. I was sharing this at the headquarters some time ago. A pregnant woman was a drunkard. She drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks. Even in her pregnant state, she was drinking heavily. Then she gave back to a baby. Beginning from the day that baby was born, the baby was aggressive, unfriendly, always crying, always unhappy. They would give the baby food, the baby would refuse food. 
She would slap the mommy's breast. And it was, was an unfriendly child, an unhappy child. When this was going on, an old man came into the house and looked at this aggressive baby. He said, ah, bring a little bit of alcohol. Put it in the mouth of this baby. The baby had been drinking alcohol in the womb. So when it came out and there is no alcohol, that's why she was upset. So when they put a small bit of alcohol in the mouth of the baby, for the first time, the baby began to smile. The mother had laid a foundation of drunkenness for her. I'm praying for somebody here. Whatsoever has been done in your mother's womb, whatsoever has been done in your childhood days, that is now polluting or defiling your future, as you shout a sevenfold amen now, they shall vanish in the name of Jesus. Your destiny is what God created you to be and to do on earth. Your destiny is your assignment on this earth. Your destiny is your job description on earth there. Your destiny is your unique contribution to human progress and development that God has equipped you with. Your destiny is what should happen in your life before you die. Your destiny is that which gives you conspicuous identity in life. Your destiny is God's purpose for your life. Your destiny is the divine agenda for your life. Your destiny is the reason why you were born. Your destiny is why God created you and allowed you to come to this earth. Your destiny is what God has written in his book concerning your life. Your destiny is what has been recorded in the records of heaven concerning your life. Your destiny is your predestined future. Your destiny is the overall circumstances or condition that will ultimately shape your life. Your destiny is the divine decree, divine plan, divine agenda for your life. Your destiny is God's giving portion for you to fulfill on earth. Your destiny is what God had at the back of his mind when he fashioned you and sent you to earth. Your destiny is the expectation of heaven for your life. Your destiny is the original intention of God for your life. Your destiny is the divine blueprint for your life. Your destiny is the divine roadmap for your life. Your destiny is the reason why you exist. Your destiny is your appointed or ordained future. Your destiny is your mission here on earth. Your destiny is your portion in life. Your destiny is that which you were put on earth to do, to complete and to perfect. Your destiny is that one thing, the one thing you are supposed to achieve. Your destiny is where you fit in in the scheme of things on earth. Your destiny is what your divine manufacturer has loaded into you to fulfill in life. Every man has a destiny. And to every man with a colorful destiny, there is always a rage. Unto every Moses, there will arise a Pharaoh. Unto every Joseph, there will arise also wickedness and Potiphar. To every Elijah, there will arise a Heab. To every David, there will arise a Goliath. The enemy has started his work very early in many people's life. Imagine a seed that has been planted for 50 years. It's been there for 50 years. We are just becoming aware now. Many of us have wasted useful part of our life dancing away in church when we should be praying. Many of us are like Mommy Johnson. They made Mommy Johnson the chair lady and the deaconess of the ladies guild in their church. The only qualification of Mommy Johnson was that she wore a British hat and she dresses very well. So they made that the chair lady of the ladies guild society in our church. The day of the anniversary came and Mommy Johnson was surprised that this lady surrounded her and they were singing. Mommy Johnson, it is your time to fly. 
It is your time. It is your time. It is your time to fly. She said, fly to where? I said, you mean you don't know where you are? You don't know where you are? You are where you are lady. Where are witches? You will fly. I said, no, don't say so. The next morning, when me Johnson had a merciless stroke until they brought her for deliverance, she came in a wheelchair and I said, Mrs. Johnson, do you want to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior? She said, sir, how much did they sell it? Dancing in church in pure abysmal ignorance. There are some kinds of destinies you must reject. 24 kinds of destiny you must reject. You must reject it violently. You must reject it aggressively. You must reject it vehemently. You must reject it angrily. You must reject it mercilessly. You must reject it forcefully. This kind of destinies I want to mention. And all these destinies that I'm going to mention now, they arise as a result of satanic surgery done at childhood. One, sugarcane destiny. People cut off sugarcane at the sweetest. When it starts growing, nobody cuts it off. When it is now big and they, they are tasting it small, small, they say it's sweet, big enough, they cut it off. A sugarcane destiny is a destiny that is cut off at the level of enjoying life. Can you shout, I reject it in Jesus' name? Shout it again! Two, there is basket destiny. Unable to retain anything. Give them money, money goes. Do business, it fails. They get, they lose. They get, they lose. They get, they lose. Basket hand. A basket destiny. What are you going to say about that destiny? Your voice is not loud enough. Three. That is anger destiny. That they used to hold close. Anger. Anger. Anything goes. You put a rag on the hunger, it will not complain. You put new clothing, it will not complain. You put dirty on their waist, it will not complain. Anything goes. What are you going to say about that kind of this? Your voice is not loud enough. Four. That is tout. Tout destiny. Tout. You show others the way, but you do not benefit. This is the way. This is the way. A signboard destiny. Boy, 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 boy. I get, I get, I get, I get, I get, I get. But you are at the mouth of the bus. You did not enter. What are you going to say about this one too? <laughs> Five. That is neutral gear destiny. When you put your vehicle on neutral gear, no movement. You'll be making noise. Ooh, ooh. But the vehicle is not in gear. It's not moving anywhere. It's a very terrible destiny. What are you going to say about that one? Six. There is shoe polish destiny. The shoe polish will make shoes to shine. And in trying to make that shoe to shine, it will work hard. They will use his face to rub. It will polish others, but he himself is not polished. What are you going to say about that one? Seven. That is house fly destiny. No one wants you around. Everybody wants to kill you. Even those who do not know how to kill you wants to kill you. House fly destiny. What are you going to say about this one? Too? Eight. That is dislocation syndrome. That is, you are in the always in the wrong place. Always in the wrong place. Always in the wrong place wrong location whereas 99 percent of success is correct position but always the wrong location what are you going to say about this kind of dancing <laughs> we have started prayers you may not realize you are praying already now ladder destiny people will always trample upon you to move up 
The people you employ will, will tread upon you and say they become your boss. They are always trampling upon you to make progress. What are you going to say about this kind of death? Turn. That is fly over destiny. Miracles will just pass, 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 pass. Miracles, good things will just be passing by. The miracle will eat the left hand, leave the front, leave the back, but will not get to them. What a terrible destiny. It's a Pisgah destiny. You are in the promised land. You are looking at it, but you can't get there. What are you going to say about that kind of destiny? <laughs> Eleven. That is the chicken destiny. The chicken is always looking down. The chicken is not a high flying bird. The chicken is not like the eagle. The eagle flies up towards the sun. But the chicken is always going about the floor eating worms. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? <laughs> Twelve. That is bitter leaf destiny. They terribly squash the bitter leaf to the point of despair before it becomes useful. That is, in this kind of destiny, the people are punished and afflicted up to the point of despair before they get some small reasonable enjoyment. We pray for a man. He got out of the primary school at the age of 17. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? Thirteen, make up destiny, decoration, decoration destiny. You say you are a beautiful lady. They are just using your beauty to to service their position, service the position. Most of the so-called beautiful girls marry very very ugly men so that they can use their beauty to to push their position forward. So the woman is just just decoration. May you not become decoration in life. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? Fourteen, football destiny. Just kick you here and there. Kick you here and there. They are kicking you all over the place. Anywhere you go, they just kick you here and there. What are you going to say about this one too? Fifteen, there is a candle destiny. Any small heat, the candle will begin to melt away. It melts away during adversity. Any small opposition, the person is quenched. What are you going to say about that one here this month? <laughs> 16. Post office destiny. You are just a transport or a transit camp. Everything will pass through you, but it doesn't stay. You are the one who will go and give them the money, but you don't have the money. A post office destiny. Post offices are not supposed to retain it and are supposed to send it out. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? <laughs> 17. Fireworks destiny. In our younger days, there's something they call Bisco. I don't know whether they still sell Bisco. Bisco destiny. They just give it, you spend the money you should have used to feed yourself, you bought Bisco. Then they light the thing. And then it gets to the bottom. Finish. Light gone. Bisco gone. Your money gone. At this one time shine. You will shine one time. You will explode once. And expires forever. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? <laughs> 18. The chewing gum destiny. That is battles we intensify when things are good when that chewing gum is still sweet in the mouth the teeth will be matching it squashing it squashing it squashing it they stop squashing chewing gum when the sugar has finished that is this kind of destiny your battles intensify when things are good when you have money all kinds of sickness and trouble will come but immediately the money finishes then there will be no problem again what are you going to say about that one 19. There is a whistle destiny. Whistle destiny. They have to blow into a whistle for you to know what the whistle can do. 
A whistle cannot blow itself. Manifestation will always come after attack. Attack no show. Until they blow the whistle, the sound will come out. Any evil wind blowing against your destiny, I silence them now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. 20. Foot mat destiny. Always trampling upon you. Treading on your head. Everybody. Small. Old. Useless. Useful. White. Black. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? Twenty-one, tea bag destiny. The tea will only give the taste and the scent and the color after hot water has been poured on it. A tea bag destiny is, only, is the destiny that only shines after severe affliction. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? 22 underwear destiny that is the person is anointed useful but never visible no visibility limited those who are less talented are visible but he is going about with an underwear destiny what are you going to say about this one too? 23 does being destiny all waste, everything dishonorable is just passing it to the person. All kinds of insults is passed to the person. What are you going to say about this one too? <laughs> Finally, drum destiny. Drum. The surface of the drum is a skin tightened. Then somebody will have to be beating it with something before it begins to sound. A tighten up destiny. Beating to nonsense before you even know that you, are, you exist. What are you going to say about this kind of destiny? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this prayer after me loud and clear. Powers! Planning my disgrace. You are a failure. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Powers planning my disgrace. You are a failure. Dead. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, door of mercy. Open unto me by fire. Open your mouth and ask for that door to open up. Jesus name we pray if this month is your birthday or your wedding anniversary just point towards this altar now father I thank you for those who are celebrating their birthday this month or their wedding anniversary let your power come upon their lives as we are celebrating this month if Jesus starts in his coming by this time next year, you become a bigger bundle of testimonies. The Lord will bless you with blessings that money cannot buy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bring out your prayer letter now. And stretch it towards this altar. Too. Stretch it towards this altar. Father, these prayer requests we are stretching here let them become anchors of testimonies oh god that answer it by fire answer all the prayers in our prayer letter by fire every prayer request here 
Let the stamp and seal of heaven fall upon them in the name of Jesus. By the time you come here next month, your testimonies will be big. And your enemies will have been thoroughly disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Say thank you Jesus seven times. Now sit down and hold your picture in your hand. Lay your hands upon that picture or hold it. I'm waiting for you to sort that out. Whether you are watching us on satellite or online, to just lay your hands on your picture or hold it. And what I'm going to say now, say it loud and clear. Let nobody's voice be louder than yes as we make this prophetic pronouncement upon those pictures. This is Daniel Olukoya. This is my childhood picture. I use it as a point of contact. I speak to you this picture in the name of the Lord. I speak to you this picture by the power in the blood of Jesus. I use you as a point of contact, as a symbol of my childhood. Daniel Olukoya, hear the word of the Lord. You shall fulfill your destiny. You shall trample upon every serpent and scorpion that are working against your star in the name of Jesus any negative material that I have been incubating as a child dry up die dry up die dry up die Lord Jesus walk back into my childhood arise cleanse my foundation purge my roots sanitize my foundation anything negative that has implanted into my life as a child dry up die dry up my childhood that is polluting my future dry up die dry up die every enemy assigned to drain my pockets your time is up in the name of Jesus, this is not a money to negotiate. We are not here to negotiate. Masanta Kaya Boshentera Bakasanta. In Jesus' name we pray. One more, one more. Declare this to loud and clear. Say, powers inviting stronger demons against me. Because when they are sometimes almost overpowered, they ask for reinforcements. Can I hear the sisters here shouting that prayer? <laughs> I say, sister, who needs to shout this prayer? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Your time is up! Time! In the name of Jesus. Yes, say it! This is why you are here this morning. We are not here to negotiate. Masenta Katelaka. 
Riba sapanda kaya bo shenteraba. Aha, continue, 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 continue. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. start these prayers the power of God will start a strange visitation that will reverse so many stubborn situations can I hear all the sisters here shouting this after me strange enemies assigned to afflict my life can I hear the sister saying that receive angelic slap can I hear the sister shouting that again can I hear the brothers roaring like fire anybody is not expecting very much to happen should keep quiet but those who are expecting things to happen and the ones who should pray like fire and like thunder. Get yourself ready now. Open your mouth and pray now. Aha! Begin to pray. Just Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, and Omega of covens assigned against me. Can I hear you shouting that? Let your voice roar like fire. Die! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Something must happen in your life here this morning. The power of God in the name of Jesus begin to move from person to person. This is not a death to negotiate. them who pray we are making progress plenty of progress say dark decisions dark pronouncements against my life can I hear you shouting those two things like somebody needs to shout that loud and clear There is a man over there who needs to shout this loud and clear. Backfire! In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Cancel their decisions. Cancel their decisions. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. We have now arrived at a particular junction where it is dangerous to allow your voice to be low. It's dangerous even not to speak with fire and power it's dangerous not to concentrate as we're praying these prayers these ones that we're praying if you have any infirmity in any part of your body lay your hands upon the place so if you're having trouble with your business lay your two hands upon each other if you're having multiple trouble multiple challenges lay your hands upon your chest we're going to pray this prayer three times three times if your voice can be loud and your aggression can be multiple as a matter of necessity you will get a breakthrough shout this loud and clear serpents and scorpions in my affairs in the name of jesus open your mouth and declare it Serpents and scorpions in my fear. Masachi katenda yaba. Ribosopola kaya boko shenteraba. Yes, yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't negotiate. Today is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh, that's better. Get yourself ready. This is number two. That angel is by your side. That angel is by your side. Open your mouth and pray it again. That's right. Yes, receive the touch. Receive the touch. The miracle power of God. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time now. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Don't negotiate. Jesus. Jesus.
continue, 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 continue. Whether it's in the head, whether it's in the body, where is the soul, whether it's the spirit, whatever it is, enough is enough. Jesus name we pray silence now oh yes for the first time those boasting powers against a particular brother over there they have been brought down to their knees that's right that's right Strange enemies of my father's house. Strange enemies of my mother's house. Are signed against my life. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Let your voice roar like thunder. Let the words roar like fire. Death! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. You will shout this three aggressive times while pointing your finger to the ground. Say, Earth! Earth! Can you shout this loud and clear? Hear the word of the Lord. Can I hear you saying this loud and clear? Swallow the enchanters assigned against me. This is a very serious prayer. Because if they have their way, they will bury you too. Sisters, are you here this morning? Sisters, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Swallow the enchanters aside against me. When you say that once, you now begin to command the earth. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. And as you continue to say it, you'll be amazed at what will begin to happen. F, F, F. Hear the word of the Lord. Swallow the enchanters assigned against me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Command the earth to swallow them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to put more fire in your press now. There are some enchanters. They are busy looking at people's life in their crystal ball. They have satanic mirrors they are using to monitor people. Shout this with only anger. Crystal ball of the enemy. Explode in their faces. In the name of Jesus. Speak against the crystal ball. That's right. There must be no room for negotiation. No negotiation. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at what is happening now. 
That's right. As someone there, they've been monitoring you for years. And anytime you want to approach a breakthrough, they pull you back. But that is the end. Because their crystal ball has exploded in their faces. Sisters, say this after me loud and clear. Any power calling for my head before an evil mirror. Can you say that loud and clear? Is that the loudest the sisters can say it? Die with the mirror. That's right. They must die with the mirror. In Jesus' name we pray. We are making good progress. Very good progress. Someone is here. You are from the Riverine area. Every morning there is this association of native doctors who chant against you. There are about 14 of them. But within the next one week, you will hear the news. That their associations have been scattered. Say this loud and clear. Pharaoh of my father's house. Die in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the Pharaoh. That's right. Command the Pharaoh of your father's house. To die in the Red Sea. Yes. Something is happening already. Something is happening already. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, yes. Say this with violence. Messengers of affliction. Carry your message back to the sender. Uh -huh. If you have any infirmity on your body, any affliction, this is the time to do return to sender. Messengers of affliction! Carry your message back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the messengers of affliction. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This next five prayers will release multiple breakthroughs to the life of as many people as who pray them from their hearts. Let your body pray. Let your soul pray. Let your spirit pray. As someone here, even when you don't eat anything, you feel as if you have eaten. The enemy is trying to block your intestine. But right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken now completely. <laughs> Some other person there, your parents are dead. But you are being pursued by the powers that pursue them. You have now been completely set free. If you are that person who came here having breathing difficulties and they begin to talk, tell you stories about your lungs, the power of God is touching you right there where you are. And the yoke of the spirit of death upon your heart and lungs are broken. Check your breathing now. Once you find that that problem has gone, that problem of breathing, you find that it has gone. Just quietly find a way to the altar here. Don't allow the enemy to put it back on you. Don't allow the enemy to put it back on you. Thank you, Jesus. If you are that person here, and sometimes something comes upon you, and you feel like taking off your clothes, right there in the public, right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon your life. And the yoke of that oppressor is broken completely. If you're that person that something disappeared from your body when we started praying just now, and you know you have received a healing from God, don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just find a way to the altar here very quickly so that we can pray with you. These five prayers 
have blessed millions and millions of people. I'm sure your case will not be an exception to. Say this loud and clear. Problems caused by enchantment. Pack your load. Go. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear the sister saying it? Yes. Problems caused by enchantment. Pack your load. Go. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. That's the first one. Number two. Every chain limiting my favor. Break! In the name of Jesus. The chain limiting my favor. Let us change the broken in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken. Let the chains be broken. Mosete kepo ya bo shendera bo kontia. Riboso bola kapo la kaya bo shendera bo koya ba. Aha 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 aha. Chains limiting my favor. Break 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 break. Break. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Very good. This is number three. Every bondage working against my brain. Can you shout this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, the bondage was broken. Jesus is here and his power to deliver is moving all over the place. Masikaya bo shendera bo sempo la kaya ba. Da ke sentia, bi ka sempi le kaya bo si. Ribo soponde ke ya bo shendera ba. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every magic poured on the ground against me backfire. In the name of Jesus, command them to backfire. There must be backfiring effect. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God, begin to move upon your people here. Let the yoke of the enemy be broken, be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. Lord has just done something powerful the life of somebody there. The enemy has laid his hands on your menstruation, on many things in your life. But those hands have been shaken off now. Someone is here to they have told you that you have cancer. But if we check the place now, find that this, the place has dried up and the hand of God has worked on your behalf today. Now this, this, this fifth prayer Pray it without any apology to any power. Every masquerade assigned to sleep in my house. Can you shout this with only anger? Make sure your voice is louder than that. Make sure you shout it even louder than that. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Deal with the mass with a sign. Now, power of God begin to move. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
I want to congratulate all those who prayed those five prayer points. Glory be to the name of Jesus. 17 persons that have been tied down in the spirit realm. And this is why you are not moving forward. Right there where you are. The power of God has just released you. From the powers that have tied you down. That's the first person. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, number fourteen. Yes, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. Number fifteen, number sixteen, and number seventeen. That's right. They, they've tied you down in the spirit. Now you have been released. That's right. An evil wind blew into somebody's eyes. And your eyes have been partially blind since then. Check those eyes now. you find that they are now seeing clearly. That's right. Yes. Once you notice that, just find a way to the frontier. Find a way to the frontier. Thank you, Jesus. You, the spirit of arthritis, the spirit of diabetes, and the spirit of high blood pressure, your time is up. Let this person go. Let this person go. In the name of Jesus. That's it. You have been released. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I see a woman here. Actually, the fact that you are here is the grace of God. Because you also can testify that your body has been completely shared out by witchcraft powers. You saw them clearly in your dream. But right there where you are, your strength has come back now. And all the organs have been returned. That's right. And then you are, you are strong now. Just find a way to the altar here. This person has been vomiting blood, urinating blood, and losing blood. Check that evil flow now. It has ceased. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some people here today, you are in business. Where the enemy has sent an evil clock to be regulating your life. That clock has just been destroyed. I'm beginning from this morning. You shall have uncommon prosperity. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear now. Every power abolishing enchantments against me. Can you shout this loud and clear? Shout it louder than that, beloved. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. I have a message for somebody over there. Your customers that were diverted away by a demonic competitor, they've now been redirected back to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. An evil letter has been sent to somebody. The letter will be replaced by promotion letters. Now the next three prayers. Make sure that nobody's voice overshadows your own. Somebody over there is being ill from a blood infirmity. And there is someone over there too. You came here quite early this morning. You've done operations several times. They ask you to come and do another one. But the power of God is touching you where you are. And the yoke of that infirmity is broken completely. These three prayers. Make sure you pray them with holy anger. Powers of the night that is afflicting my destiny. 
Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's right. Mosekaya Boshendera Boko Santonde Kayaba. Rapa le Kasente Yaba. Yes, 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 yes. Powers of the night that is afflicting my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. That's right. That's right. Silence. Silence. I see arrows going back to a particular village. From where it has been sent to a particular person. And you that person. That house of wickedness, they have redrawn the map of your life. Power has changed hands now. Say, terror of the night. I'll sign against my destiny. Scatter. Yeah, deal with the terror of the night. I'll sign against your destiny. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Moseketenda kaya mosepolabo. Ra bola katan santayaba. E Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. If you are at this altar here and somebody has spoken to you already, you may go back to your seat. But if nobody has spoken to you, just stay. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Raise your right hand to the heavens now. Every enchantment assigned against my life. In the heavens. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Masopola Katendekea. In Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. Lord, I cover the miracles of this morning with the blood of Jesus. And I decree that affliction will not rise again a second time. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Pick a song of praises in your mouth now and begin to sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. To him who is able to do all things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him who can do all things. Praise him who has all powers in his hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We have several more prayers to pray. And the Lord still has a lot of things to do here today. All eyes closed. If you are that person, and something comes upon you in the night to squeeze your waist, and by the next morning there is serious trouble, the power of God is coming upon you where you are. And the yoke of the night oppression is broken completely. That's right. The stubborn migraine represented by a satanic lizard is being taken out of the head of somebody. If you shake that head now, you'll find that the migraine has gone. That's right. The Lord has just taken something out of the breast of somebody stretch your two hands forward now as if you want to receive something back every good thing stolen from me by enchanters I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus begin to recover it 
Masekatunda kaya boshende raboko soponde kea. In Jesus name we pray. Now lay one hand on your head, the other one on your belly button, and let your amen be dynamic now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand here as a servant this morning, and I speak against every inherited enchantment. I speak against every enchantment assigned against the head. I stand against every enchantment from the waters. I stand against every enchantment from the jungles. I stand against every enchantment from any witch doctor. You enchantments, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost, recover them now. Recover them now. Sevenfold. Recover them sevenfold. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. That's right. And let's raise up our right hand to the heavenlies. As we begin to pray these ceiling prayers on what God has done our, in our lives here today. There are people here this morning who will be so shocked by what the Lord will do that they will open their mouths in wonder. But meanwhile, pray this prayer from your heart. Every power planning to disgrace me. You are a liar. Can you declare this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Deal with any power that wants to disgrace you. I refuse to be disgraced. In Jesus name we pray. Let me ask you a question. How many of you here today want the blessing of God to pursue and overtake you? Then pray this prayer violently. Every good thing that I've been running after begin to run after me now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one. Let them begin to pursue and overtake you. In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power that does not want me to lift my head. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the power that does not want you to lift your head. My head must be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. As a pregnant woman who came here crying because of what the doctor has told you. But I have a message for you from the Lord. That everything that doctor has said about you Forget it. Because the power of God has overruled. And we are going to wait for your testimony, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Say, oil of favor. Baptize my life. In the name of Jesus. As for a baptism of the oil of favor. Oil of favor, baptize my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. So from us from now on, no one will say to me, sorry, try again next time. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. 
as shall be an all-round success in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray say this oh God Allah and let the company of sorcerers scatter in the name of Jesus scatter the congregation of the sorcerers Assigned against your life, assigned against your destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Citations of darkness into my life. Is that the loudest you can say it? In the name of Jesus. Deal with the visitations. Masopika tonde ke ya bo shente laba. Bonaka tenda ka ya bo shente. It's up already. That's right. Let us be silence now. Silence completely. The Lord said, There are people here tonight. As a result of visitations of darkness, some infirmities have entered into their lives. Right now, the infirmities that have entered as a result of the evil visitation, the one that is ringing in the center of the head, the one that is causing heaviness on the head, the one that is causing cloudiness in the eyes, the one that is causing arthritis in the legs, the one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body, the one that is causing some parts of the body to start behaving strangely. The one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body. The one that is causing cobwebs surrounding the face. The one that is causing paralysis. Right there where you are. The plantation that was planted during the visitation. According to the word of God that every tree that the father has not planted. Shall be rooted and thrown into the fire. Those things have been uprooted now. And they are being thrown into the fire. They are being uprooted. They are being thrown into the fire. They are being uprooted. They are being thrown into the fire. They are being uprooted. They are being thrown into the fire. They are being uprooted. They are being thrown into the fire. In the name of Jesus. What's happening? Check your body now. Check your body now. Check that material moving about in your waist. Check that neck that the enemy has fired an arrow into. Check that breast to discover that the evil swelling there has gone. Check under your feet to see that that plantation of the enemy has disappeared. Check the anea to see that it has vanished. It's happening all over the place. Because they come as a, as a result of visitation of darkness. Silence. Check your body properly. Properly. Immediately you find that the Lord has removed that plantation of infirmity. Please don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just quietly find a way to the altar here. I didn't ask you to come out if you want to be prayed for. No, 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 no. But God has touched you and I want to, put, want to pray for you to put a seal on that miracle. So that the enemy will not bring it back. 
Just find a way quietly here now to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Every property of the enemy in my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Command the property of the enemy to catch fire. Tonight is tonight. You must not go home with any property of darkness. That's why Jesus brought you here. Masopoko tende kata. Maria boko sotonde ke ya bo shente laba. Manaribo soponde ke ya bo shente laba. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening again. Every property of the enemy in my life. Catch fire. 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 Maseka tenda kaya bo shende raboka. Boride ke se tende ke ye bo shente raba. Manare aloko se pa. Bale ke tende ke ye bo shente raboko raba. Masente ke ye bo shente raba. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. In Jesus' name we pray. Things are happening again. Check that stomach trouble you brought here. Find that the arrow of infirmity there at backfire. This person has been losing blood very aggressively. Go and check now. That evil blood flow has stopped. Just check your body and quietly find a way to the altar here. The prayer we are going to pray now, the Lord will use it to lift many out of whatever situation the enemy has put them. of my problems die in the name of Jesus yes let the root of my problems die in the name of Jesus Jesus let your power move here in an awesome manner let your power move in an awesome manner. Let your power move in an awesome manner. Masika pola kaya bo shente raba. Banari bo sopende kaya bo shente. Tesetende kaya bo shente rabo kopola baraba. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power. Of the Holy Ghost, receive a lifted up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifted up by the power 
of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Katenda ya boshandia, ribo sepela kaya boshende raba santa ya ba, na katende ribo sepola kaya boshente. Amen. I decree upon your life over there that every curse that has hijacked your family history be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity, every spirit of infirmity, every curse of stagnancy, every spirit of stagnancy, every curse of frustration, every spirit of frustration, every embargo of darkness, I command you to scatter now in the name of Jesus. silence. I can see the hand of God moving from person to person. Yes. Every arrow of darkness in the body, your time is up. The ones in the eyes, the ones in the head, the one in the chest, the one in the womb, the one in the two legs, arrows of darkness, arrows of the enemy, plantation of darkness, plantation of the enemy, Hear the word of the Lord. It is written, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers that submit themselves unto me, the strangers shall be afraid, and they shall flee out of their close places. You, the strangers in the close places, get out now in the name of Jesus. silence at the count of seven from here all those who are in this gathering and there is a rope of witchcraft around your waist they control you they drag you here and there when you are about to approach a breakthrough they apply the rope and pull you back I'm going to count seven from here the power of God is going to follow for such people and that yoke shall be broken forever one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The rope must be broken. The rope must be broken. The rope must be broken. Lay your right hand upon your head now. Lay your right hand upon your head. Father, I pray that the Holy Ghost fire will arise and kill every satanic deposit in anybody's head here. Anyone watching us, in the name of Jesus. Yes, the deposits have been troubled. It's time for them to go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. You are going to shout this seven times. Say, My head. Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus. Shout it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Silence now. Check that head now. Check your body too. 
you brought some infirmities here you brought some weaknesses here and they have been shifted back to the camp of the enemy and you can do what you could not do before find a way to the altar very quickly don't let the devil put any problem back now that it's gone it's gone for good check your head check your body check that swelling check your legs do what you could not do before run quickly to the altar here if you cannot run run if you cannot walk walk if you cannot see see if you cannot hear hear in the name of jesus that's the power of god coming upon you aha Lay, retain your hand upon your head. Say, Power of God. Attack all covens. Assign against my head. In the name of Jesus. Power of God. Attack all covens. Assign against my head. In the name of Jesus. Say three hot times. That's one. That's two. That's three. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something has been taken out from a woman's body. It's as if they put a heavy load upon your body. But right now, all those loads have been taken off. Check your body now and find a way to this altar. For the next few minutes, I want you to wear your warrior cap. This is the first meeting of the year. And there are prayers I want you to pray. There are plenty of prayers, but we have a short time to pray them. It will be a tragedy to keep quiet. It will be a tragedy to be left out. Can you shout this loud and clear? I break every spell upon my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to break it. Jesus name we pray any witch dispatched to my house I cut you off in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree that one to cut them off In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every power speaking failure to my destiny. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that one to Masepola Kaya Boshendera Basanta. Jesus, then we pray. It's the powers chanting my name in darkness. Shut up. Da. Shut up. Da. In the name of Jesus. Powers chanting my name in darkness. Silence them. Jesus. Jesus then we pray my stolen portions can you shout this loud what are you doing in the valley of witchcraft can I hear you shouting that come on 
Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Any sickness that wants to overtake my life. Can I hear the sister say shouting? This? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Brothers, shout it louder than that. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on over there. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, you have promised us that these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Let the power of recovery, the power of resurrection, the power of breakthroughs, I enter into this hands in the name of Jesus. Let this hand become the hands of fire and power. In the name of Jesus. Now if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smite the place aggressively. Don't feel sorry for the place. And you shout on it back to your sender. Back to your sender. Let's go! Do it well, do it well, do it well. Check your body now. That place is smooth. Check your body now. Begin to do what you cannot do. If you cannot walk, walk. If you cannot run, run. If you cannot see, see. If you have any swelling in your body, check it up. And run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put the problem back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I step into my wealthy place by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree that I want you. Amen. Calendar of darkness. If you don't want to repeat of any evil history, this is the prayer to shout seriously. Calendar of darkness. Fashion against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the calendar of darkness. Jesus. Jesus. 
in Jesus name we pray I'm going to pray for some specific cases now if you have been healed please come out and talk now don't be ashamed don't let the devil put it back they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony thank you Jesus I'm going to pray for some specific cases silence everywhere don't say amen until I ask you to say amen. Father, I pray for that your daughter over there. Some time ago you were raped. The rapists were occultic people. Whatsoever they are planted into your body at that time, I command them to begin to depart now. Uh, don't, don't say anything. No. Just keep quiet until I ask you to talk. Every plantation of darkness that has entered into your body through sex be released from it now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power. Falling upon that person over there. Father, I pray that the power that I used to pin this person lifelessly to the bed as if your life is flying out. I separate that power from your body now. In the name of Jesus. That is the power of God coming upon you. The power of God is about to come upon somebody. This is the problem. Your grandmother cursed you. Your grandfather also cursed you. That person over there, the power of God is coming upon you. And the evil spiritual garment upon your body is catching fire now. Yes, that's the person over there. Right there where you are. The evil eggs that that prophet gave you to swallow. Vomit them. 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 For me, then, 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 they have aroused your life for too long. For me, then, in the name of Jesus. Now, time for success prayers. Success prayers. Raise up your right hand to the heavens and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, every altar of affliction raised against my success. In the name of Jesus, a loud amen. In the name of Jesus, say, so I break any power of non achievement of my father's house. In the name of Jesus, say, so this year shall be one of my best years on earth in the name of Jesus because as from now I shall not labor in vain as from now men and women shall show me favor in the name of Jesus a sevenfold amen Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. And affliction will never rise again. In the name of Jesus. Let's remain standing as you take a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Pick any song of praises. I'll sing it loud and clear. Great is the God. How great is His name? How great is His name? 
Amen. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you shout that loud? Make your voice louder than that. Favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. Anoint our mouth. Give us a mouth and a wisdom that the enemy cannot contest against. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Here the sisters say, I say this after me. We're house in the waters. Can the sisters shout it louder? Yeah. Sisters, I'm sure you can do a lot, lot better than that. Yeah. Release my virtues. Can I hear the brothers shouting the same thing? Yeah. That's right. Everybody together now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft of my father's ass. Your time is up. Death in the name. 
name of Jesus. Ripola katoda katandayama. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to count seven from here. Anyone being controlled by powers from the waters, either mami water, marine spirit, water spirit, they will be released instantly. The angels of warfare are scattered all over this place to cut every covenant that you have with them. One, two, three, four. You can't hide. You've been hiding for years. Release our children. Release our husband. Release our wealth. Release it. Release it. In the name of Jesus. You marine husband. Lose your hold too. In the name of Jesus. Say this with boiling anger. Say, I release my wealth from the grip of marine bankers by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Release them, release them. Makatesateyaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so what I'm going to say after me. Say, so in faith, I hand over my battle to God. In faith, I come against every evil stronghold of any marine kingdom. In faith, I pollute your water with the blood of Jesus Christ. In faith, I overturn every marine agenda against me. In faith, I trample upon marine serpents and scorpions. In faith, I spoil marine palaces and set our captives free. There shall be no reinforcement or evil reunion of this power against me. I seal my confession with the blood of Jesus. And I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Amen. A sevenfold amen. If January is your birthday, please remain standing. Father, we thank you for this, your children. You are celebrating the birthday in January. Let it be well with them in the name of Jesus. Bless them to a dumbfounding degree. As I celebrate your birthday this month, by this time next year, if Jesus tarries in his coming, you'll be a greater bundle of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bring out your prayer letter for this program now. Those things you want the Lord to do for this year. Hold it to your hand and rise up on your feet. And let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Stretch the letter towards his altar. As you let your amen be loud and clear. Father, in the name of Jesus. All these letters that of children have written. You know the innermost desire of their hearts. Answer the letter by fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion. Will arise and fight for you in the name of Jesus. 
and every point you have written in that paper shall become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to make testimony an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blown against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus and crash in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, oh God, arise and break every ancient chain assigned to stop me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and break any ancient chain assigned to stop me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and break any ancient chain assigned to stop me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and break every ancient chain assigned to stop me. In the name of Jesus, break every ancient chain assigned to stop me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power 
seeking the wisdom of the elder to stop me be wasted in the name of jesus any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me be wasted in the name of jesus any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me be wasted be wasted be wasted in the name of jesus any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me be wasted in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen can you shout this loud and clear my virtues in the market of darkness I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for our children who are gathered at this program. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Today, the hand of God shall touch you. Today, the power of God shall be mobilized to help you. Today, your prayer requests shall become testimonies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is well with you. Go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're looking at divine keys for happy life. Divine keys for happy life. A comedian was very depressed. He was having all kinds of mental issues, all kinds of mental disturbances. He was very sad. He was unhappy. He went to see a psychiatric doctor. The psychiatric doctor counseled him, spoke with him, spoke with him, and said, young man, you are, you are still young. You should not be unhappy. He said, you know what? There is a popular comedy show in town. Go there like your colleagues. Go and listen to comedy. Laugh and forget your sorrow. You see, the comedy show is being run by one Don Gonzalez. So go there. And then you'll be okay. The man looked at the doctor and said, Doctor, I am Don Gonzalez. I'm the comedian myself. It shows you the issue of happiness is a very, very, very serious matter. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And I decree upon your life that every enemy of your happiness shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. world is a hectic world of suicide, of famine, of war, of depression, of divorce, bitterness, hatred, rape, and all kinds of terrible things. 
happiness and joy and contentment are becoming scarce commodities and they are precious commodities indeed. Everyone is seeking after happiness, joy, contentment. But if you look around, beloved, the majority of people have never found true and lasting happiness. Some even believe that there is no such thing as true happiness. We should ask the question, is there such a thing as true happiness? Yes. As a Christian, you are supposed to be very happy. God expects us to be happy. God commands his people to be happy. Every enemy of your happiness shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Let's look at some scriptures. In Romans chapter 14 verse 17, it says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Wonderful scripture. In Philippians chapter 3 verse 1, it says, Finally, my brethren, Rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Now in the popular Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Every enemy of your joy shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every power that aids your laughter shall expire in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Amen. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16, it says, Rejoice evermore. Then in Acts of Apostles chapter 13, from verse 52, it says, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. And the popular Nehemiah 8 10, from where we got the song, The joy of the Lord is our strength. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is only unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And the joy of the Lord shall continue to be your strength in the name of Jesus. John chapter 16 verse 22 says, And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Again, joy. In Psalm 37, verse 4, I'm giving you so many scriptures so you can know that is the delight of heaven. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And in 1 Peter 4 13, said, But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, but when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. You may be glad also with exceeding joy. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10, a passage I love so much, said, As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As have nothing, and yet possessing all things. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4, he says, Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glory of you. I'm filled with comfort. I'm exceedingly joyful in all our tribulation. He's joyful in all the tribulations. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, say, Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions. He takes pleasure in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Listen, beloved. We as Christians are supposed to be joyful and happy. I would like to make some statements which I want you to know very well. I will make them in short, short statements. Number one, the Bible joy is not earthly joy. You can begin to win a football match, you are rejoicing and jumping up, all of a sudden your team begins to lose, it turns out. You may begin to make sales of products, all of a sudden, people come to sell your goods, it turns out. You may win a contract and lose the contract again, it turns out. You may have a newborn baby and you're happy, later they say this baby is as familiar spirits, this baby is this is that, it turns to sorrow. You may have a party and the party people come, they were rejoicing, all of a sudden somebody falls down in the party and dies, the party turns sorrow. 
person could get a job, you are very happy, then the, you are retired from the job, it's a problem. It turns to sorrow. You have a new garment now, somebody told the garment, it, it turns to sorrow. You have a certificate now, you can't find a job with it, it turns to sorrow. I've seen a birthday party turn to serious sorrow when a strange woman showed up at the party and the wife at home did not know how to handle it. In Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20, and the seventeen returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. But Jesus said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. He now says something very important. He said, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, don't rejoice in this. Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The disciples were very happy that day, and they had reasons to be happy. But if the demons are subject to you here, and your name is not in the book of life, it is a disaster. Revelation 20:15 says, a new server was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. So the joy of the world is different from the Bible joy. Exodus 32, 32, Moses said, Yet now, if thou will forgive their sins, and if not blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Listen, beloved. Happiness is not something you stumble on by accident. Happiness cannot be bought, sold, or traded. Happiness does not depend on money. The rich also cry. But happiness is within your grip, it's within your grasp. Let me make this very clear to you. Being miserable is a choice. You are entitled to the sadness you tolerate. Happiness and joy, they are keys to receiving from the Lord. The Bible says in Isaiah 12, 3, that therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. Without joy, you cannot draw water out of the well of salvation. If you keep being sad, you keep being melancholic, you will invite those spirits to you. The devil hates believers. Listen very well. The devil hates believers who love him to scorn and who refuse to get depressed. When you refuse to get depressed, you refuse to get sad, the devil hates you. Joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit that all believers must grow. If not, you are a fruitless Christian. Galatians 5.22 tells us, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Listen, brethren. Happiness will give you health. Happiness will give long life to your body. For Proverbs 15.13 tells us, and I'm sure you know that scripture, says a merry heart make it a cheerful countenance. But by the sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The same Proverbs 17.22 tells us that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dried the bones. When you are talking about having the joy of the Lord, it means delighting yourself in the Lord, who is your strength. But if you don't delight yourself in the Lord, you will satanically sponsor depression and sadness into your life. A sad and confused heart is evidence of unbelief. Read your John chapter 14 verse 1. Say, let not your heart be troubled, but believe in God and believe also in me. When your heart is troubled, such cannot receive from the Lord. God has keys for happy life. And these are the keys I'm trying to share with you now. Happiness is not found in what you have.
but you're what you are. And let me tell you one secret. The root of most of the unhappiness is comparing yourself to others. The Bible says comparing themselves by themselves, they are not wise. The secret of happiness, beloved, is to make somebody else happy. When you go out of your way to be a blessing to others, you'll be blessed. If you go out of your way to make others happy, you'll be happy. Bitterness is to waste precious moment of a life that's already too short. It's a waste of time to be bitter against anybody. So to change everything about you, simply change your attitude. Once you change your attitude towards life, you have godly attitude, joyful attitude, things change. Good manners, good manners sometimes mean you have to put up with other people's bad manners. That's life. In the Old Testament, there are 27 different words used to describe some aspect of joy. So it's a very key topic in the Bible. But happiness is a byproduct of you pursuing God. So surrender your life to Jesus. Two, stop blaming other people for your mistake. Don't make lame excuses. Three, admit it when you make mistakes and apologize. Four, listen more and talk less. Know when to keep your mouth shut. Five, strive for excellence in what you are doing. Give it your best. Six, always try to be on time. Seven, get yourself organized. Eight, be humble. Nine, be kind to other people. And ten, praises, worship, and warfare. You need to understand this last one very well. It's a key that most people have neglected. It's a key that most people have pushed aside. You must not push it aside. Know for sure that God wants you to be happy. God wants his grace to be mighty upon your life. God wants your joy to be full. Say this loud and clear. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Every good reader of scripture will soon discover that there are so many unused facilities in scripture. God has various weapons. God has various keys. God has various things that open to us to ensure our happiness. One of it is in what's in Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. That's why we got our popular song. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. And in Psalm 22 verse 3, it says, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. This weapon is in praises and worship. Praises and worship. When you combine praises, worship, and prayer, you are an overcomer. I read about that uh, illustration. When angels that came to earth, they brought two baskets, one for thanksgiving and one for request. They went back to heaven, and the one for thanksgiving was empty, the one for request was overflowing. The angels had to borrow more baskets. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the Lord gave a strange instruction to defeat the enemy. He told Jehoshaphat that the battle belonged to him. Praises is extolling God for what he has done and is doing for us. Extolling God for what he has done and is doing for us as praises. Worship is extolling God for who he is. The Almighty is the great I am. We're extolling for who he is. Two different things. During praises, you count your past victories in Christ Jesus. And then you know that in that situation, God is going to help you. When you recount this victory, it's going to help you in your present circumstances. When the singers of Jehoshaphat began to praise and worship the Lord, the Bible says their enemies turned against each other. 
and destroy themselves. I decree upon your life, your enemies shall destroy themselves. Your enemies shall destroy themselves. They shall turn against each other and destroy themselves. This is strange, but very interesting. Praise it, turn the enemies against each other. Declare one hour of praise. Declare 15 minutes of praise. Do you want your enemies to turn against each other? Remove your attention from them and become a praise addict. The psalmist was a praise addict. God becomes fearful in battle when we will begin to praise his holy name. Praises defeat the enemy and activate the power of God to work for you. But you see, people find it easy to praise God when things are working well for them. People find it easy to praise God when others are praising God. People find it easy to praise God when they have just obtained a miracle, a breakthrough, a new job. Something good has just happened, but when circumstances become unfavorable, it is no longer so. People find it so difficult to praise God. But you see, the key is this, and listen to me well. If you learn to praise God in those times of greatest need, your time of greatest need, then God will strengthen your faith. God will strengthen your faith so much, there is nothing that can defeat you once you flaunt the secret of praise. No devil or evil circumstances can defeat you. No power of the enemy can overtake you once you learn that secret. You become the victor instead of the victim. May you never become the victim in the name of Jesus. You become the conqueror instead of being conquered. You shall not be conquered in the name of Jesus. Press as power and it is a never failing power. We should practice praising the Lord. In any situation we have, we should practice praising the Lord. Anytime, anywhere. And I want you to know this. The devil is an highly riser. He tries to gain attention and focus on people very, very early in the morning. If he succeeds in planting negative thoughts, quarrel, malice, sadness in your heart early in the day he has had your day a wonderful way to command your day and to control your day and to take it away from him is to practice praising the lord when you wake up this is why you must learn and know songs of praises this is why you must have a copy of the hymn book Many have concerned praises to something before the service, and you don't have to be there. In some places, it's been relegated to Sunday morning services and fellowships. It's not supposed to be so. It's supposed to be our lifestyle. Learn to wholeheartedly praise God, regardless of your situation. You will always be better off than somebody else, no matter what. Remember the story of that man? He had no shoes, he was complaining. But he stopped complaining when he found a man without legs. So grumbling and complaining will push away wonderful breakthrough from us. There is no troublesome situation. I repeat that. There is no troublesome situation that praises cannot turn around. There is, however, a big difference between praising the Lord from your mouth and from your heart. Many times, some people just utter words of praise. It doesn't really go into their heart. So that is not acceptable. We call that kind of praises from the mouth mechanical praise. And you praise God with no expression in your face, and raising your hands without no even the heavens, you are raising your hands so It is not acceptable at all. You fail to concentrate your heart is in a million places, million miles away from where you claim to be praising God. The empty outward mechanical display is not praises. All the entertainment in the church is not praises. Do you find it difficult to sleep? Then practice praising God on your bed. By the time you sing 20, 30 songs of praises, you will sleep. Do you have problems with your temper? Anytime you are hungry, refuse to be provoked. Just begin to praise God when you are provoked, and the anger will die stable. Unknown to many, 
praises he says is a way to remove plenty of mountains and overcome plenty of difficulties. Praises get your eyes off the conflict to the conqueror. Praises get your eyes off sickness to the healer. Praises remove your attention from the noise of the enemy around you and focuses your attention on Jesus who can give you victory. Praises get your eyes off the dilemma to the deliverer. Many of us will fix our attention on our circumstances and problems. Defeat comes when we, like Peter, focus our attention on circumstances and problems. And you will not be defeated in the name of Jesus. Praises will keep our eyes off the circumstances and focus them on the master in every situation. The master in every situation. In the midst of Abraham's situation, the Bible says he was strengthened in faith and he gave praise and glory to God. In Romans chapter 4, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So Abraham was giving glory to God while he awaited his testimony, which eventually came. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to perform. God performs. Your praise to God will turn your sadness to gladness. It will turn your defeat to victory. It will turn your darkness to light. It will turn your weakness to strength. It will turn your trials to triumph. Wherever praises of God abound, God's presence abounds. Joy and victory will be there. Are you living an unproductive life? Then learn to praise the Lord. Psalm 67 verse 5 to 6 says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. As praises become your lifestyle, whatever you set your hands on, must just it is increased to you. Praises will bring increase and blessings. And I decree increase and blessings upon your life in the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 17, from verse 11 to 19, we read about the 10 lepers who came to Jesus. They came to Jesus. And Jesus said, go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went along to show themselves to the priest, they were healed. Only one of them, a Samaritan, came back. He came back to give glory to God. And Jesus said, your faith has made the whole. The others did not come back. They were not made whole. They were just healed. He said, your faith has made the whole. Only the man who came to thank God, who came to offer praises, got the information, your faith has made the whole. In Acts chapter 16, you see Paul and Silas again. Paul and Silas were beaten, put in jail. But the Bible says, as they sang praises and prayed, earthquake of deliverance was released and people were set free from their chains. So one serious key to obtain happiness is offering praises and worship to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. If you are here in this program, you've not just surrendered your life to Jesus, bow down your heads while you are, say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Immediately after this broadcast, there is a short prophetic message that I want you to listen to. It's highly prophetic and you must not miss it. After that, there is 30 minutes of warfare praying. You must participate in that. You must not miss it because of the situation in which we find ourselves. God bless us to participate in the name of Jesus. And don't forget that tomorrow is the end of our 15 minutes praises and reading some night one. On Monday 8th of June, we we'll go back to our prayer program. 
the ones we've done twice, we'll do it again three times. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm praying on the tithes and the offering. Now, Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. A good measure of prayers are falling over. Let it be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. Bless your children to don't find the decree. In Jesus' name we pray. Instructions in the middle of your battles. I will learn. La animeji ogunre. Instructions. I will learn. In the middle of your battle. La animeji ogunre. Second Chronicles chapter twenty. Chronicle keji ori ogun. Instructions in the middle of your battle. I will learn. La animeji ogunre. Now listen carefully. This is a different service. Actually, this service is to make available to you 70 prophetic utterances. The ball is now in your court to catch them to arrest them and bring them into your life. But one thing is certain here today. As many people as shall claim any of these 70 prophetic utterances shall definitely have mighty testimonies. If you are one of those who would have testimony, let your amen be loud. How many prophetic utterances? Second Chronicles chapter 20. I read from verse 14. Second Chronicles 20. Verse 14. Then upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jelel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hacking ye on Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. But God. So tomorrow. Lola. Go ye down against them. Behold they come up by the cliff of Ziz. And you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Search yourself. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Joshua bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of Korahite and of the children of Korahite stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on her. 
that if you are a coin, it's okay. So you are not what is really a strange battle plan. Twenty. And they rose early in the morning. They went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat the stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when they had consulted with the people, they appointed singers unto the Lord. That she praised the beauty of holiness as they went up before the Lord, I mean, and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambushment against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Monser, which came against Judah, and they were smitten. Twenty-three. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monser. These are three enemies that were fighting them. Now the enemies are now fighting themselves. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monser. Utterly to slay and destroy them. And listen to this. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. I prophesy upon the life of somebody here that your enemies shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roll like thunder. In the passage that we've read, we have instructions in the midst of battles. There are ten instructions that God gives you in the middle of your battles. No matter what battle you are going through. Instruction number one. According to this passage you've read now, you must know your God. Know the God whom you serve. The Bible says, they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. By the same token, those who do not know their God, they shall suffer and they shall be exploited. Know your God, that your God is a Awesome God. Your God is an awesome God. This is a very serious matter. And I want you to take it seriously. A few days ago, I was in Congo, Kinshasa. We are the crusades. We're talking about the mystery of deep troubles. As prayer started, there was a lady in that program. She was 38, 39. She, she had never experienced menstruation. At that age, she was in the program. Immediately, we started praying. A few minutes of the prayer. A mother 
who was not at the crusade ran from home to rush to the crusade ground. I was asking after her. And when she came out, I said, I don't know what happened. So a few minutes ago, my younger sister began to confess to witchcraft. I don't know what you are doing here. But it's affecting her there. She has started confessing to witchcraft. She said, when you were born, I will give her your placenta to bury. She did not bury the placenta. She threw it into River Congo. That's why your menstruation is gone. That was all the mother came to say at the crusade and she went back home. The awesome power of our God. It was from that moment she began to have stomach ache. And by the next day, her menstruation that she hadn't seen for 30, 39 years started. That was the first time I would see somebody totally wet in blood and she's laughing. The awesomeness of the power of our God. I decree upon your life any witchcraft power hiding anywhere to fire arrows at your destiny. Let the arrows backfire now. The second instruction, you must know the enemy, and the devil is bad and wicked. Third instruction, do not fear. Fear will not change your circumstances. Fear will not conquer the enemy. When fear is tolerated, faith is contaminated. When fear comes in, faith jumps out. Don't be afraid. No matter the multitude. Four. Do not be dismayed. And just don't be stressed out. Don't be troubled. Don't be worried. Don't be so, so much melancholic about the situation you are going through. Instruction five. The battle is not yours. But the Lord. Instruction six. The only language the enemy understands is violence. And the only thing the enemy respects is power. Seven. You must know your spiritual weapons. The blood of Jesus, the word of God, fire of God, know those weapons. Eight. Know the word of God, which is quick and powerful. Nine. Have violent faith in God. Just believe in God, He says you shall be established. Number 10, believe His prophets and you shall prosper. Believe His prophets and you shall prosper. Over 7,000 times in the Bible. When God speaks, He speaks prophetically. And when those prophetic words begin to come out today, I know the life of somebody here will no longer remain the same. When God begins his operation, his power lacks respect. 
When God begins his operation, he can change the rules for your sake. When God begins his operation, he has his way in the wind and in the wild wind. When God begins his operation, he can create something out of nothing. And I pray for somebody here. And any organ in your body that the enemy has destroyed shall be recreated now. In the name of Jesus. When God begins his operation, God can make a way where there is no way. When God begins his operation, the threat of your enemy, the plan of your enemy is relevant. When God begins his operation, he can take you from nowhere to somewhere. So seven things are necessary this morning here. If you want to key into those prophecies, number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Number two, you need to become a friend of God. And number three, worry must die in your life. Worry will not give you anything. Number four, you need violent faith to key into those prophecies. Number five, you need brutal, merciless, holy cry. The kind of amen you should say is an amen that when the enemy hears it, he runs. If you begin to say amen, amen to these prophecies and you lose your voice in the process, you've made a good bargain. As far as you claim the prophecies, that voice will come back. Then, six, you need violent praises. And seventh thing is to believe his prophets. If a friend brought you here today, you should thank your friend profusely. Because what will happen today in your life will mark a reference point. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. It is the prophetic hour. The louder your amen, especially if you know these prophecies are relevant to your life, the faster your answer. I prophesy on the life of somebody here that within the next two months, the Lord will lift you to where no man can bring you down.
into the arena of prosperity. In the name of Jesus, every year of unconscious detention in the camp of the enemy is broken to pieces now. In the name of Jesus. Now this one is for somebody here. Every serpent and scorpion of your father's house that defeated your parents shall die.
you shall fly from the sky of rejection to the firmament of dominion. In the name of Jesus, you shall depart from the bus stop of stagnancy. I'm going to the bus stop of breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. That is a word for somebody here. If your amen can be louder than anyone around you. Because I should tell you that your breakthrough shall surpass every previous breakthrough that you have had. In the name of Jesus, receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. You will arise. And your land will be a land of favor. Your testimony shall be great. Your miracle shall give back to other miracles. You will move from victim to victor. You will move from shame to fame. This is for somebody here who has been crying to the Lord. God shall waste your wasters. God shall waste your wasters. God shall waste your wasters. In the name of Jesus. And your wasted years shall be compensated. Now with a loud voice. No more 21 times we shout. I receive it. Then you say the last one in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Go! I receive it. 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 I receive it.
you to the apex of your destiny. In the name of Jesus, you shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall not die but live. of darkness place to harass you shall become your ladder of honor in the name of Jesus you will all shout this loud and clear the serpents of the Lord swallow every serpent of my enemy There is one sister here. If you don't open your mouth and pray this prayer, only God knows what will happen tomorrow. Maybe that's why this prayer is coming out. Can I hear the sister shouting the prayer loud and clear? Brothers, let your voice draw like fire. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to call on the serpents of the Lord to deal with every serpent of the enemy. That's right. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, that sister over there. Your mother used to fly at night. And used to carry you to witchcraft meetings. Although you are not part of them. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke of witchcraft upon your life is broken instantly. That's the person over there. Power, power of God. Establish my promotion. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Let those who want promotion shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like fire. Establish my promotion. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, release unto me. Angels of power. Two and one get the power as he left for me. I pray that you understand that prayer. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? There is somebody's voice that needs to be loud and clear. 
There is somebody who needs to rule like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go put your mouth and begin to receive the minister of those angels. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of confusion. Arrows! Locate the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Pata Sakata Ribo Saponda Kaya Boshantera Bokopola Arrows of Confusion of Fajarunako. Locate the camp of mine. There is somebody who needs to shout this loud and clear. Yes. Yes. Masapo Katenda Kaya Boshanda. Riba Loka Poleka. The Santa Lakaya Boshanda. Yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Come out of every prison of darkness. Come out of every plantation of darkness. Come out of every yoke the enemy is putting upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Search your spirit. Search it. Very well. Are you very happy inside? Don't you see? Power is trying to limit your joy, limit your laughter. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? <laughs> Yes. Continue, continue. We are not here to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Makapola Kayabo Shenteraba. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Let my enemies destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Aha. Jesus, then we pray. Oh, yes. This is not a time to keep quiet. Neither is it a time to negotiate. Say, every gathering against my destiny. Scatter unto desolation. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? 
In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to scatter them. Don't keep quiet, don't keep quiet. Scatter unto desolation. persons in this service. I beg you. For this we are well. Every power assigned to use me for sacrifice. Can you share this Lord? You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Yes. Continue, continue. That's right. That was another the concession. Yes, 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 yes. That is it. Aha, aha. Every power assigned to use me for sacrifice. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who Jesus, Badura. Amen. Amen. Some don't understand that prayer. I won't come. I do not hear you. You won't. Do you know? In the name of God, that you could be donated spiritually for sacrifice. What they find in your car? They look at me. We come up with rubber. The person has been donated. They may donate an organ in the person's body. That's why I want you to pray this really hard and serious. Sisters, can I hear you shouting it again? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Aha. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Makata setende ke ya bo shenda. Aha. Basa pala ke ya bo ko shenda. Riba sapande ke nde ya bo shenda ya bo ko pala ba. Yes, yes. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. This is not the day. Don't keep quiet. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Yes. Shout this loud and clear. Wickedness of my father's house. Wickedness of my mother's house. Assigned against me. 
Can I hear you shouting out? Ah. Hello, Lara. Yes. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Begin to decrease. Begin to decrease. Wickedness of my father's house. Wickedness of my mother's house. A sign against me. Da. In the name of Jesus. Bakatara Bosetem Bekea Bosetem. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Weapons of my enemies. Oh, we shall want that. We hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your sender. Can I have you shouting that loud and clear? Shout it again with only anger. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Go back to Look at what is happening here. That's right. Go back to yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the earth. Sisters, say this after me. My enemies, my enemies. And you are telling me. in the heavens, you know on earth, locale. underneath the earth. Can I hear the sister saying that? Hey, open it with me. Sister, shout it again. Hey, open it with me. You buy a lot. Hear the word of the Lord. A God, oh Lua. Fight yourselves. A bar and I eat Can I hear the sister saying everything now? Hey, open it with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Go back to your center. Everybody together. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus. 
Zu. Auf Puyamata beginnt dann die Zeit. Jesus' name we pray. We are still going back to that prayer. But I want you to turn into machine gun prayer. That is like this. My enemies in heaven, on earth, underneath the earth, hear the word of the Lord. Fight yourselves. In the name of Jesus. They begin to say, fight yourselves. In the name of Jesus. Fight yourselves. In the name of Jesus. You turn into machine gun prayer. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, for Jesus, La Badura. Let that be silence now. Don't say anything for now. Just be silent before the Lord. Focus your attention on the blood of Jesus. And the man who was crucified on the cross of Calvary. You, the spirit of death and hell. Operating in the chest of this brother. Operating in the chest of this sister. Hear the word of the living God. That place is not your habitation. You the problem in the bone. And it's as if somebody is pouring water inside the bone. That place is not your habitation. Therefore hear the word of the Lord. You the arrows fired into the breast. The arrows fired into the right leg. The arrows fired into the backbone. That has been causing tension and stress. So that place is not your habitation. You the smell of death. Enveloping that person over there. That place you are is not your habitation. You that strange voice. Speaking to that person over there. That place from where you are speaking is not your habitation. You the plantation of darkness. In various organs of the body. That place you are is not your habitation. It is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall run out of their close places. Father, as I count seven from them, let great deliverance happen to those people. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count one to seven now. You will not be able to stand on your feet if something has to depart from you. But you will be made whole. One, any, two, three. 
Eta. Four. Eri. Five. Eri. Six. Eta. Seven. Eri. The power must separate from you. It must separate. It must separate. But I know God of being a cool lad. You the balloon of darkness. Be punctured. 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 I want fire fire against this person here. To want to see any ye. And it's as if the whole of your body is gone. To I command I the arrows to go back to the center of the name of Jesus. Go back to your center of the name of Jesus. Go back to your center of the name of Jesus. Go back to your center of the name Father, I'm praying for this person over there. You have swallowed a satanic egg. Right there where you are. There is volcanic eruption in your stomach. Volcanic eruption in your womb. And the plantation of darkness is coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. coming out. That's the power of God coming upon Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. You will shout this loud and clear. Okay, Lorana. Disgrace. Shame. It is you. Hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. In Jesus, name we I don't change. me down. Open your mouth and break the chains. Makate sete ya bo shendera basanta. Yes. You that person over there. When you to obey, I command your strength swallowed by the cup to be returned to you now. In the name of Jesus. I command the arrows fired into your body. Go back to the now. In the name of Jesus. You will shout this Sunday's prayer. Oh, keep it. It's a prayer of the psalmist. Very effective psalmist prayer. So, where is the God of Elijah? Contend with them that contend against me. Can I hear you shouting this? Shout it again. Shout it a third time. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call on the God of Elijah. Contend with them that contend against Jesus. 
Jesus, then we pray. Lord, we Jesus. One. Verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah. Of the cause of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priestly office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. It was his turn to offer incense. Sometimes those priests do that kind of thing once in a lifetime. And the burn incense are the holy of holies, the innermost part of the tabernacle. And any priest choosing to go there has to go in with great caution. Because priests have entered into that holy of holies and they came out dead. So you have to cautiously approach the place. And they tie a rope on their waist with jingling bells. So as far as it was there and it was still active, those bells would be jingling. But immediately the bells stop ringing. They, they will know that maybe an angel has slapped him, is dead. They will just use that rope to drag him out. They cannot go inside to bring out the cops. They have to drag, they have to drag him out. It was there this man was offering the incense. And there appeared unto him, verse 11, an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense and when Zechariah saw him he was troubled and fear fell upon him because he had said well maybe this one has come to finish him off but the angel said unto him fear not Zechariah for thy prayer is harder and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son and thou shalt call his name John and he began to describe the qualities of John to this man in verse 18 and Zechariah said unto the angel whereby shall I know that Whereby shall I know this? I'm an old man. My wife well stricken in years. And the angel got angry. And the angel answered said unto him, I am Gabriel. He introduced himself properly. I'm Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and has spent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings the angel now delivered a message everyone did not send him because of the state of Zechariah because of the words that were coming out of the mouth of Zechariah so, and behold thou shalt, not, thou shalt be dumb 
I'm not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season if Zechariah continued to talk the way he was talking there he would talk his way out of his miracles so the only thing Gabriel could do to help him so that he won't talk his way out of his miracles so that he won't with his words cancel all the prayers he had been praying was to make him dumb and unable to speak you see beloved everything is made of words words can be audible words can be inaudible so don't think it's only what you are saying like this say like that is a words words you can say words from your from the inside of you the heart perceives what the mouth manufactures you conceive you, you conceive your destiny dream in your spiritual womb you now create them with your mouth and with your hands the words you speak with your mouth confirms what you perceive in your heart and gives back to what is conceived in your spiritual womb many good dreams have been aborted by the wrong words that people speak after those dreams have been conceived utterance of the wrong words cancels breakthroughs we've been praying for 70 days now but the bible says you can be snared with the words of your mouth said death and life are in the power of the tongue so you don't only create when you speak positive words every negative word you speak to creates an atmosphere of failure around you the enemy responds to all the negative words you speak but God responds to all the positive words that you speak the Bible says and I will give you the keys of the kingdom and whatsoever thou shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lose in heaven so anytime we speak a dramatic process is set into position I don't know whether you're understanding me when the words are positive the angels of God are immediately released to effect what has been spoken when the words are negative the demons of hell the demons of hell are released to fulfill those things so our words create whether negative or positive if somebody begins to say this headache will kill him if somebody begins to say well in this family nobody does well somebody is saying he will never make it and you are speaking words like that you are creating something negative and you are cancelling all the prayers all the prayers that we pray so our words are the primary vehicles of creativity in the beginning the earth was without form and void until God began to speak let there be light 
and there was light the bible says something very interesting romans chapter 1 verse 30 i don't want you to lose out in this program that's why i'm emphasizing this now romans 1 30 Romans 1.30 It says backbiters haters of God despiteful proud boasters but our interest in the next, is in the next thing inventors of evil things inventors of evil things so you can use your mouth to invent evil things that didn't exist because because of what you are saying Gabriel looked at Zechariah says although this man is a priest and he's uh, serving God here but if he continues to talk like this talk like this his breakthrough will never come so he rendered him dumb and unable to speak you must begin to guard your mouth after this program you must speak life and until you begin to speak life that will continue to hang around you unless you start speaking life don't be part of inventors of evil things with their mouths the truth is that the failure many people perceive is not mostly caused by witches and wizards but, but by the accumulated volume of negative words they have been speaking your mouth is a powerhouse it incubates your words and launches them into orbit it is the generating station so your tongue plays a very crucial role why your heart is a power plant that your mouth is a powerhouse so our words are more powerful than we think the words are spiritual containers don't be part of the group of those who invent evil against themselves the bible said the sower went out to sow so Jesus now explained that those seeds are words so careless words too they matter a lot they germinate just like those they germinate if you pronounce blessing it germinates pronounce evil things it germinates every idle word the bible says they are going to be accounted for many are already accounting for such words in their lives if a farmer carelessly throws a seed somewhere or unknowingly throws a seed somewhere in his farm the ground will not reject that seed because it was carelessly stored because the man didn't not want to put it there the thing will still grow so the, so the devils and his agents they are always in constant alert waiting for a child of God to make a confession contrary to what God has promised if we speak words of death negativity doubt failure that is what we will reap but if we speak life positive things testimony things that's what we can we reap we have the authority to speak dead things into life therefore after a program like this I exhort you 
to pay careful attention to what you are saying about yourself, saying about your children, saying about your life now, after this program. Rise to your feet now. And raise up your two hands to the heavens. Rise to your feet, raise up your two hands to the heavens. And pick again any song of praises and sing it loud to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Say every power stealing my glory. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus, begin to recover your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is for those who want to move from where they are to where the Almighty wants them to be. Oh God, arise! Lift me up by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Lift me up by fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is for somebody here. If you pray it well, by the time we close this meeting, your testimony will start. Say every chain time down my star. Pray in the name of Jesus. Command the chain time down your star to break. Pia Likatara Santa. Ria Polikasa. Every chain turn down my star. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we praise your holy name for the manifestation of your glory and power. It is written, O thou that earnest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. We are gathered there. Visit us by your power. Lay your hands upon us. Move our destiny forward. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. Tonight, we're looking at the God of impact. The God of manifestation. The God of promotion. The God of impact, the God of manifestation, the God of promotion. Sisters, what are we talking about tonight? And brothers, what are we talking about? In Deuteronomy chapter 28, I read verse 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. Deuteronomy 28, 13 says this. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe and to do them. I read again, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Clearly, two positions are identified one is head, the other is tail. The fact that the Bible identifies those two positions 
it means that both positions are available to be occupied. Although there is a dangerous position between the head and the tail called average. But the Bible says, the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above and not beneath. This is the word of God. And the Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. Not that it's about to settle. It's settled in heaven. In life, there are only seven categories of people. And you and I, as we are here tonight, we belong to one of those categories. Number one, those who never discover who they are. And this, you are in this planet, you really do not know who you are. You really do not understand the kind of things God has deposited into your life. There are plenty of people in that category. Two, there are those who do not know what is happening. They are just on this planet. They have no clue what is going on. They are born. They go to nursery school. If there is one in their village. Then primary school. Secondary school. University. Get a degree if it's possible. Get married. Have children. Die. Buried. Finish. They really don't know what's going on. They see human beings like sticks. They don't really know what human beings are. They have no clue about the mysteries of life. Neither do they have an idea about the law that keeps the universe in order. They are completely naive. They don't know anything. They may be academically sound, but spiritually in an entity. Three. They are those who watch things happening. They are basically spectators. They spectate. Instead of them to be a spectacle that people will come and watch, they are the spectators. I see somebody here tonight. People will soon gather at your resort. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. They watch things happen. Four. They are those who make things happen. They make things happen. They make the news. Then number five, they are those who are successful. Successful. And they are happy with what they are doing. Then six, they are the strugglers and the wrestlers. Always struggling. Always battling. Always addressing issues as one problem is going, another one is coming. One year they are battling the enemy, second year they are battling the they are always battling the enemy so that even useful prayers for their lives, the enemy has not given them time to pray it. They operate at poverty level, average level. Number seven are those who are significant. That is, they have more than enough and they can impact others positively. God is a God of impact. And God wants us to make impact. Positive impact. Let me tell you one truth, beloved. It is impossible for you to encounter the living God and your life remains the same. The reason behind the cold spiritual life we see with so many people, the reason behind dying today, working tomorrow, spiritual life of so many people, is because they've never had an encounter. When the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords manifest in your life, you encounter Him, your life will no longer remain the same. There are people who are very, very quiet people, easygoing people, but the day they receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, their life just changed. Because they have to make the necessary impact. I'm praying for somebody here. That the impact that will promote your life and the life of those around you shall manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. So God is a God of impact. No one encounters him and remains the same. No one gets across to his way and you say you are still the same. How can the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Lord of the Universe, encounter a person and you say you don't know? You will know. And you will definitely know. 
your life, like that popular choir song, will be rearranged. Will be rearranged. I pray for that rearrangement. Everyone in the Bible who made an impact were people that had the encounter. And this is a very serious matter. And I tell you something, beloved. Since God is a God of impact, we have to make impact. To make an impact is to make an impression on one thing or the other. It means for your life to give an effect that gives color. You can make a positive impact or a negative impact. An entrance of a person to a place can bring negative things. While somebody else gets there, positive things begin to happen. What God wants from us as individuals, our lives should live in indelible positive mark on the lives of other people. Our lives must be a force to reckon with and not a mere figure. That's what we mean by making positive impact. Our lives must be a source of change, a source of turnaround, a source of transformation. Our lives must make notable impression upon people's hearts and minds. That's what we mean by making positive impact. Our lives must stand out. The Bible says, ye are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Making a positive impact means you must be, we must be men or women of distinction. We must be men and women who are good example unto others. I pray that you make a good impact. There used to be a man of God many years ago. He was a gynecologist. He was a deliverance minister, he was a pastor, he was a gynecologist. Any time this brother was on duty at the maternity ward in the hospital, when, he, when they see him enter with his white coat into the maternity world where people are about to deliver babies, all the women will be clapping and they will be rejoicing. Because they know that that night that he is on duty, everybody must deliver normally. He will not do cesarean operation for anybody. He will pray and he will deliver the baby right there. So they love him. Anytime he was on duty, the woman will be clapping. Whereas there is another doctor. When he comes in, Oh, oh. Because we just look at you. Say, Madam, stop shouting there. Why are you making noise? When you and your husband was doing exercise, was I there when you were doing the exercise? Why are you making noise there now? Stop this, stop in my head. Ooh, 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 ooh. We say push, I'm not pushing. Just keep quiet there. If, if you shout again, I operate you. And his own patients were there. Where well, there was a brother. When he moves in, it makes positive impact. The Bible says. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. To make impact is to have a beautiful feet. If you are a sister here, you are not married. And you are praying to get married. Please pray to get the kind of husband whose spiritual life will be a challenge to your own life. Not the husband you will be begging, let us pray. Let us go to church. My dear, don't drink this beer. It's too much. One bottle is enough. My dear, don't destroy yourself with all these drinks that you are drinking. My dear, stop going to the house of those who are selling paraga. Not that kind of husband. I pray that you be a man or woman of impact. <laughs> Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. It's one of those scriptures that will bother any true child of God. If you are a man of God, it will bother you. If a person wishing to grow spiritually, this scripture will bother you. Look at Romans chapter 8 verse 19. It says this. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. The endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. What is this verse saying? It says that the whole world is waiting for you to manifest. That's what he said. So he's still waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. What I will say? God himself is a God of manifestation. What then is this passage saying? 
He said, a lot of things are waiting until the time you manifest. It means the world is waiting for you to manifest. It means there are many things that will not get into shape until you manifest. It means there are people whose destinies are attached to your destinies and if you don't manifest, they do not manifest. It means that until you shine, many will not shine. Until you make progress, many will not make progress. It means until you manifest, some heads will never rise. That is, there is an expectation from you by this generation. An expectation that this generation is expecting from you. This is a serious matter. I could remember the church that I was many years back. The day the Lord said, son, get out of this place. Get out of this place. I have not committed the salvation of this church into your hand. Get out. I had just returned from England with a PhD. And the Lord said, get out. So I got out. So now I'm out of our church, which is basically a cathedral. They had organs. They had choir robes. They have all kinds of things. Sometimes when we close the service, they distribute happy family biscuit. That biscuit that looks like stick and wood. So it's not too bad. But God said, get out. I said to where? I said to Makoko. And I went there. Makoko is a strange place. The headquarters of all kinds of spirits. We started in a shop. Shop. That can take maybe 10, 12 people. People laughed at me. They made fun of me. Some will say, if you had dread mathematics, you would have said you are mad. Can you leave a cathedral to come and be meeting in a shop? Then, in a place like Makoko, that time. And those of you who know about Makoko in those days, I don't know about now. There are two kinds of vehicles that transport people to Makoko. From Adekunle bus stop there to Makoko. One is proper bus. One is what you call Oloye. Oloye means the vehicle has no windscreen, it has no glass. You pay about half price for that one. But all kinds of breeze will blow into your eyes and into your face as you are going. It was the headquarters of all kinds of occultic churches. You don't start preaching a message in Makoko in those days on the pulpit without first of all praying for about 30 minutes non-stop. You just step into that place without serious prayer. Immediately when you get to the pulpit, you feel arrows entering to your brain from the back. And by the time you look back, you see them setting on their windows. They're not hiding it. That's where we started. There is an expectation from this generation that is needed from you. When I left that church, I had 13 different delegations of people coming to beg me, come back, sir, come back, come back. Don't just, they begged and begged. One day, one of those delegations who used to come and beg me came to see me here. He came for deliverance. After he delivered, he said, I, I used to know this man in our former church. Let me say hello to him. So he came. Now says something. He said, Daniel, if you had listened to our begging that day, look at how many blood will be required from your head now. But he was one of those begging me not to go. I pray that you will manifest. In the name of Jesus. What are we trying to say here? We are saying that there are plenty of people who appear on earth, but they never showed up. They are here, but they never showed up. The real them never showed up. The one that is going about, the one that got married, the one that married, is a carcass of their correct image. So the Bible says, the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. The creature is still waiting for those who will begin to manifest. That is a lot of people, plenty of people, thousands listen to me tonight. There is an internal gold mine inside you. If it does not manifest, when you get to heaven, you will be accused of murder, of destruction. And you say, ah, I didn't kill anybody. I never aborted. Say yes. But 
those you are supposed to deliver, you did not deliver them because you did not manifest. If you need to pray the prayer to manifest for two weeks non-stop, it's worth it. Once you begin to dream and dream, you find that in your dream, you are in beautiful places, you are in top position, but in real life you are suffering. It means that that is your correct self that has refused to manifest. I am praying for somebody here. Any power that does not want you to manifest, I bury them now. That amen is very weak. The amen is still very weak. Let it roll like thunder. When you manifest, hey, when you manifest, your gender will not matter. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Nobody will even consider your color again, whether you are black or white. When you manifest, when you manifest, no one cares about your background, your tribe, or your race. When you manifest. Say, in this world, it's very unfriendly to women. No. Once you manifest, you manifest. <laughs> That's it. The Yoruba say, a man sees a snake, a woman kills the snake. The important thing is for the snake to die. If it's the woman who is killing the snake, killing the snake all the time, whenever a snake appears, they will say, Madam, come or come, because she's the one who kills the snakes. If you say, Mr. Man, come and say, I don't come, Mr. Man, or you will run away. Divine manifestation must take root in your life. <laughs> when you manifest, the same people who used to mock you will be the first to honor you. Try as you may. When you manifest, and you begin to manifest the blessing of God, you cannot hide those blessings. It's not possible. Your blessing can get to a level where it's not possible to hide, no matter how you try. I have a word for somebody, I don't know who the person is. The Lord said you have been ordained to shine. And you must shine. In the name of Jesus. When you manifest, your life becomes a testimony. When you manifest, you'll be experiencing miracles that will be given back to other miracles. When you manifest, fellow human beings will think you're a spirit. You wonder, what kind of person is this? How did this happen? When you manifest, terrible things will begin to happen to those who are challenging God in your life. When you manifest, you become a pace setter. When you manifest, you stand out in progress and achievement. When you manifest, you become the delight of heaven. When you manifest, the hands of the enemy becomes too short to fight with you. When you manifest, you qualify as one of those in the Bible who refuse to die. Who like Shadrach, Daniel, Elijah, Enoch. They wanted to kill them, they refused to die. When you manifest, you become a reference point for amazing testimonies. No wonder the Bible laments here. Say, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. When you manifest, you become a film show in heaven. When you manifest, many men and women will want to serve your God. When you manifest, God will be mightily exalted in your life. When you manifest, association with you will cause people to be blessed. When you manifest. When you manifest, your presence commands respect and honor. When you manifest, your words will matter in heaven and on earth. When you manifest, your name becomes a terror in the kingdom of darkness. When you manifest, people begin to quote your words. When you manifest, your name becomes a household name. When you manifest, you rewrite your family history. You rewrite it. You become a giant killer and a deliverer of your people. 
No wonder the Bible laments for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. I pray for somebody here today by fire and by force. Divine manifestation must take root in your life. You must manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus. When you manifest, your life becomes a challenge to others. A man and woman try to copy what you are doing. When you manifest, there will be constant open heavens over your life. Men and women will compete to do you good. When you manifest, angels arise to defend you and protect you. You become a force to reckon with. And all the good things you lay your hands upon prospers. Because eventually you have shown up on her. Unfortunately, many people are not what God really wants them to be. Some really have become what their parents want them to become. Some have become what they want to become. Some have become what their husbands want them to become. Some have become what their wives want them to become. But only a small percentage really become what heaven wants them to become. Only a few people can have this testimony written on their forehead that behold, he is going as it is written of him in heaven. He is going as it is written of him in the book of God. A lot of people are living the life of a shadow of what they really are. A man was having so much problem, he cried himself to sleep. He cried himself to sleep. Then he had a dream. The dream, he saw himself in heaven. And there was an angel by his side. And the angel was taking him around. Taking him around all over the place. All of a sudden, they saw one man coming, looking happy, prosperous, contented, and looking glorious. And the man was coming towards him and smiling. So the man asked the angel, who is this man? The angel said, that is the person you are supposed to be, but you are not who you are supposed to be. So when you wake up from this, your vision... Pray to become what you really have. For God does not create failure. Every man is an image of God. God is the prototype from which all human beings are made. It's like they put God down on a table. And someone was looking at his image. And was making another thing like that. Since God is not a failure. And God is a God of manifestation. Then you are supposed to manifest an answer to the reason you are created. That's why some people normally say that every man and woman was created by the Almighty to solve a problem. It will be a tragedy if you die and leave this place. And the problem the Almighty purposely created you to come and solve is left unsolved. And you die like that. And somebody comes to your graveyard and they begin to praise you. And behold, this person has lived a wonderful life. Wonderful life. Whereas the angels at the graveyard, who have come to observe what we are doing, they are looking at all of you in disdain. And they are hissing. What foolish people are these. This man never did one quarter of what he was supposed to do on earth. This man you are buried now. His internal Moses had been killed completely. And they cannot be found again. This is why fornication is very bad. Because if you are committing fornication, you are just segmenting your life, little by little. You put small in a gigule. You drop some with a Chinese prostitute. Left a little bit with the housemaid in your house. Gave six or seven to the uh, boyfriend and girlfriends who were having in school. Little by little, you were sharing yourself out. Fragmenting yourself. Fragmenting yourself. So when you are fully fragmented like that, and now you are going to pray, My father, I want to manifest. But you have, you, have, you have shared them out. You don't need manifestation prayer in that instance. You need prayer to put together the broken pieces of your life. This is a very serious matter. There are prayers to pray here tonight. 
For those who are serious about the issues of destiny. For the creature was made subject to vanity. But not willingly. Creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly. There is something that is subjecting you. Pushing him down. That's verse 20. So for the creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly. But by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. That is, there is a power subjecting man. Um, the, they are not willing to be subjected, but they are doing it by force. That's why I'm praying here tonight. Every power that is forcefully pushing your head down shall die tonight. Let your amen roar like fire. Let your amen roar like thunder. So God is a God of impact. God is a God of manifestation. Thirdly, God is a God of promotion. In Psalm 75, verse 6. Psalm 75, verse 6. Psalm 75, verse 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, and is full of mixture. Verse 6 again, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. What is promotion? Promotion is elevation. Promotion is advancement. Promotion is betterment. Promotion is improvement. God is a God of promotions. He said he lifted the beggar out of the dust. The poor out of the dungeon. He promoted them. Promoted them. Promoted them. Promoted them to dine with the princes of the earth. God promoted Abraham in Genesis 12. Say, by you all nations of the earth shall be blessed. God promoted Joseph from an imprisoned slave to a prince. A prisoner became a prime minister. The promotion was so much that Potiphar, who jailed him, became his servant. Potiphar's wife that told lies against him became his servant. That's promotion. God promoted Moses from exile to a lawgiver. God promoted Aaron from slave to high priest. God promoted Saul from somebody who is a nonentity to the throne. God promoted Esther, a house girl, a slave girl, and she became the queen. God promoted David from being a shepherd to the throne. God promoted Daniel from being a captive to a prime minister. God promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. From being slave boys to rulers. Then that thief. By the right hand of Jesus. Who said. Lord remember me. When you get to your kingdom. Jesus promoted him. From that place to paradise. So God is a God of promotions. True divine promotion. Is any step that brings you closer. Or makes you arrive at your divine position. True promotion is divine favor. True promotion is for you to be a step ahead of your adversary. True promotion is for you to be the head and never the tail. True promotion is for God to defy logic and history in order to move you forward. True promotion is for you to have favor with people you have done nothing to end. True promotion is God moving you from depth to prosperity. True promotion is for doors to open to you that you don't even have the education or the skill to get. God is a God of promotion. And promotion is a covenant right of the children of God. And you as a covenant carrier, your Lord is to go from glory to glory. Not glory to story, glory to glory. Yours is to go from strength to strength. I want you to understand it. That the 
God of promotion is able to do much more than you think or ask. It is God that can give you promotion that deviates from the normal. It is God that can give you promotion that people have never heard of it. In 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 8, 1 Samuel 2.8, the Bible says this, in 1 Samuel 2.8, Oh, I read it from verse 6. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raise it up the poor out of the dust. He lifts up the beggar from the dungeon to set them among princes. To make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. God is a God of promotion. And you must key into his ability to move you forward. You must become his friend. You must become the friend of the Bible. You must become a friend of holiness. You must become a friend of humility. You must become a friend of prayer. Then you must listen to the principle of scripture which says seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Say as many as ask they shall receive. Tonight we want to call on the God of impact. The God of manifestation and the God of promotion. If you are not expecting anything outstanding to happen in your life, you can keep quiet. But if you are expecting the God of impact, God of manifestation, God of glory, God of promotion to manifest, then speak with aggressive faith in your heart. Speak with the faith of the God who is able to create something for you if that thing is not available. Do you know that because of just one man, one man, Heaven can kill a whole city because of one man. That's, that's the principle. Because of one man, heaven can also save a whole city. I want you to understand these principles. Jonah was in the boat. Jonah was the one who was disobeying God. But the presence of Jonah in that boat will have destroyed innocent lives who did nothing wrong. Because he wasn't doing what God wanted him to do. He did not want to manifest. Paul was in the boat with over 200 prisoners because of him. I said, okay, you are in this boat. No one shall die here. His presence there will serve all of them. The presence of Jonah in that one was going to destroy them. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. If you are here tonight, you are not even born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Don't waste time. You need to do that before you can pray these prayers. Close your eyes. Those who want to surrender your life to Jesus. And raise up your right hand. Say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Find a way to the altar here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The prayers of tonight, they are prayers of people who are expecting something great to happen. Not, eh, we have been praying this kind of prayer before. No, no. When you call God his correct name, it begins to manifest. Can you shout this loud and clear? Please don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Already there is a massive presence of the angels of God here. Massive presence. Please, eh, nobody moves about now. If you are not an usher, stay where you are. I'm telling you now. Don't move about. There is massive presence of the angels of God here. They don't tolerate people just moving about anyhow. Stay where you are and pray. If you are not an usher, shout this loud and clear. My days of greatness begin by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus.
kalika rikana riba sapanda kaya boshente raba Jesus name we pray. I have a word for somebody. I don't know who you are. The Lord said, it is the evil words of your stepmother that has kept you where you are now. The Lord said, as you pray those prayers, the curses of the stepmother upon your life has been broken. You will now mention your name. Daniel Olukoya. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't be afraid. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are here for a special encounter. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Enough is enough. There's a man here. Your parents planted your placenta in the wrong place. It has been keeping you from manifesting. It is likely that the power of God that is going to strike you now, you might even somersault on your seat. It doesn't matter. The important thing is for you to be set free tonight. Father, I pray right now that anyone in this meeting who is under placental bondage, let your power Move upon them now. In the name of Jesus. As the first person. That's number two. That's number three. Aha. 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 Shout this with boiling anger. Every problem mocking me. Can you shout this loud? Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't keep quiet, don't keep quiet. Tonight is not a night to keep quiet. Jesus. Jesus.
Jesus' name we will pray. Silence now, beloved. Silence now. Mm. You the embargo of darkness upon this brother, upon this sister. So that any time he or she wants to move forward, something mysterious goes wrong. Let the luggage of that embargo that you are unconsciously carrying on your head be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Every evil hand laid on your star is catching fire now. The power of resurrection is falling upon every dead virtue. Let all dead virtues here receive life, 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes. All the blessings of your ancestors that the devil has stolen from them, right there where you are tonight, recover them all. Recover 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 all. In the name of Jesus. And I'm prophesying for somebody here that before coming Sunday, uncommon riches shall locate you. In the name of Jesus, the kind of wealth that you have never come across shall locate you. In the name of Jesus. That's right. You have been paying your tithes in pennies. Your time, the time to pay your tithes in millions have come now. In the name of Jesus, let your evil rule like thunder. Now with boiling anger. When I say boiling anger, I mean boiling anger. You will now shout this prayer loud and clear. Say every power time down my life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Sisters, what did I say? And brothers, this passage we have read handed over to man dominion. God gave dominion over the creation to man. Man therefore has creation as his domain. The totality of the creation amongst us is full of mysteries. And these mysteries are meant for our benefit. But if we are ignorant, it will work against us. 
we must seek to tap into the mysteries of creation and following the laid-down rules of the Bible and get benefits from them. We are empowered to speak to creation. We are empowered to command creation. It's good for you to listen to me very carefully tonight. You may not find somebody trying to explain this to you very well again. When we talk about creation, the first place you turn to is the heavenlies. The immediate atmospheric heaven covering our head up. As far as it looks, as if it's so far away, is given to man for control. The Bible says the sun is to rule by day. The sun to rule by day, the moon to rule by night. Can you say that and let me hear you? So if a man wants to take charge of his life daily, daily, he must learn to take charge of the sun daily. According to what is written in Job chapter 38, it is your duty to speak to the sun as it is rising up. It is your reason to give counsel to that sun as it is rising up. It is your duty to speak to the day to command the morning as it is rising up. The moon comes out sometimes monthly. The moons come out monthly and the months are fashioned according to the circle of the moon. If a man wants to control the night, he must learn to take charge of the moon. To control the day, take charge of the sun. To control the night, take charge of the moon. The moon is the ruler over the night. That's why the psalmist says, The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. Can I hear somebody shouting that loud? Let the voice run like thunder. Therefore, to have great success in our warfare against Satan, night vigil is compulsion. This is because the kingdom of darkness operates better under the cover of darkness when men are least alert. The Bible says, this is your hour and the power of darkness. The hours of the night, there are terrible hours that the enemy operates. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came. 99% of the problem that manifest by day were programmed by night. Many of us, immediately we land on our bed, we sleep off. There are some people, when you land on your bed and you sleep off, that's when they wake up and start. Their most active hour is in the night when men are least alert. I'm praying for somebody here tonight that the problem that came into your life while you were sleeping should be buried now. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen roar like thunder. So, night vigil takes the battle to the gates of the enemy. The stars also rule in the night. They are the compass of creation. Stars also represent lives. You find that in Matthew chapter 2 verse 2. Stars are symbolic. Apart from being used to get direction, the star gazers, the observer of times, the peep. They peep into people's destinies and seek to control them through the stars. It is important for you and I to continue to soak our stars in the blood of Jesus and deliver it from the hand of the occultic men who want to substitute it or hijack it. We should speak unto our stars to reject any manipulation assigned against them. All those evil men who like to control people's life, they target their stars. But the Bible says something very interesting. He said, the stars, they have sweet influences. That's in Job 38. We can seek out the sweet influences of the stars and appropriate it into our lives. We do this by simply speaking to the stars by the power of the Holy Spirit to release their influences into our lives. So you can gain precious 
fruits from the sun. You can get precious things from the moon. You can get precious things from heaven. You can pray that the Lord should release his dew from heaven upon your head. These are very, very serious matters. And I want you to understand this very much. We can also demand that the sun, the moon, the stars should judge the enemies on our behalf. We can command the heavens to fight for us and fight to recover what has been stolen from us. So the first creation that we can speak to is the heavenlies. For the next few seconds now, I want you to put your two fingers to the heavenlies. And with a voice that nobody can overshadow here. The Bible talks about heavens over our head. The heavens over your head can either be open or closed. When the demons have closed the heavens over somebody's head, you can't get any good thing to happen. With your two hands stretched towards the heavens, and with anger boiling in your spirit, shout this loud and clear. Every dark program in the heavens against my destiny. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Deal with the dark program. That's right. Open your mouth and declare it. Somebody here needs to shout this loud and clear. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. This is not the time to keep quiet. Mata sata la kaya boshanda. Ribo la katanda. In Jesus name we pray. We have not finished. There was a king Uzziah in this Nigeria some time ago. That particular year, we did palm of St. John's for two days. The power of this king Uzziah was hanging in the heavens. But after those two days, the powers were dismantled and the king Uzziah was removed with fire in your voice. You will say this loud and clear. Witchcraft powers hanging in the heavens against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here tonight. In Jesus name we pray. So much for the evilness. But that's not where we're going. That's not where we're going. There is still one more prayer to pray. Now your own personally. This is personal now. Pray for yourself personally. Say, I write my blessings. Can you say that loud and clear? In the heavens. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and write it there. Jesus name we pray I wish you could see the transactions taking place the second creation to address is the waters this is not where we are going tonight but let me do a little bit of over syllabus the waters God gave us authority over the waters with words we control and rule the waters. There is abundance of the waters in the seas. The waters are meant to nourish the earth so that the earth we yield unto us is fruit. The Bible says God made boundaries for the waters. We must act and release creation who are in the bondage of the water by prayer. We must act as servants of God 
and stop the waters from operating beyond the boundary God gave to them. And will give them the commandment of what God wants them to do. We as believers can command the gates of the waters to open. There are gates in the waters. According to Nahum chapter 2 verse 6. We can bind the strong man in the water. We can cut off every claim that Satan has over the waters. We can command the wind to blow upon the waters. These are through the words that God has planted into our spirit. So much for that. Now we now go to where we are going tonight. Help from the earth. Help from the earth. In Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. I read from verse 12. Revelation 12, 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast out onto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into a place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. But something happened in verse 16. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Help from the earth. The earth is the most humble entity on earth. You trample upon it, it does not talk. You urinate upon it, it does not complain. If you throw something to the skies, it will come flying back at you. If you are not careful, it will eat your head. The earth is also a swallower. The earth is a living entity. The Bible says it has mouth here. The earth is a mysterious thing. All corpses from Adam to the present day are under the ground. The earth has swallowed them. All the feces, the latrines, the waste of men, they go into the ground. The earth is a bank and a recorder. The serpent pursued the woman. The woman developed got eagle's wing to fly. The serpent now vomited a flood of water to drown the woman. But the earth helped the woman. The earth is always righteous and honest. The earth is very honest, very useful. What you give to it, it will give you back. Dust thou art, they say, and not in dust thou shalt return. All things are from the dust of the earth. All minerals are from the dust. Even what makes up man is from the dust. The only part of man that is not the dust is his spirit. One mystery about the earth that we don't use or we don't know is that the earth can be a helper. The earth can be a helper. That is a mystery known as mystery of help from the earth. There is no enemy you have. It will pass the earth. There is nowhere on earth that a man's feet will not touch the ground. Therefore, as far as those enemies are still touching this ground, or they need the ground to operate, as children of the Most High, you and I can request and speak and obtain help from the earth. Don't let anybody believe you what the earth could do. I'm decreeing upon somebody here tonight that the earth will open up.
and swallow your enemies. You shall swallow them. You shall swallow them. You shall swallow them. In the name of Jesus. We have to be conscious that our footprints, as far as Babylon is concerned, they are stamps of possession. The Bible tells us that we can seek to eat the good of the land. We can tap from the precious blessings of the earth. The earth has a mystery. The earth has ability to vomit and ability to bless. The earth has ability to swallow, to vomit and to bless. The earth will vomit those who do not hearken unto the voice of God and bless those who hearken to the voice of God. The earth is always linked up with harvest time. So you can insist on the earth that you want a bountiful harvest. Help from the earth. We are going to pray some very strange prayers here tonight. Korah, Dethan, and Abiram, they stood up against Moses. And Moses prayed. And said, look at these men. And the Lord said, don't worry. I'll deal with them. And God said, Moses, how do I deal with these men? Moses said, Lord, don't let them die ordinarily. Let something extraordinary happen. Let the ground open and swallow them up. And right there in the presence of anyone, everyone, the earth heard, opened up, selected those who wanted to swallow, swallow them and close back. The earth can help. The earth can bless. The earth can swallow. The earth can vomit. I taught biology for many years in the secondary school. And the first lecture in biology we teach to our students is living things and non-living things. Science does not categorize the earth as a living organism. As far as science is concerned, it's non-living. But the scripture recognizes the land as a living and intelligent organism and it and the scripture addresses it accordingly. The scripture declares that the earth is not a non-living thing. It is living. In biology they say living things reproduce. The earth can reproduce. Biology says living things have mouth. The earth has mouth. It's capable of opening up and swallowing. It's also capable of vomiting. The earth has feelings and can be thirsty. The earth can drink water just like human beings drink water. By implication, the earth has belly, it has stomach. There are things hidden in the belly of the earth, treasures of darkness that belong to so many people that they can't have access to unless they pray. The Bible says the earth can hear. The Bible says the earth can speak. The Bible says the earth can decide to be silent. The Bible says the earth can write in Jeremiah 22. Then if the earth can write, it means that the earth is literate and intelligent. The earth has emotions. The earth can fear, it can mourn, it can rejoice. The earth is also capable of being defiled. The earth is capable of being cleansed. Sometimes the earth has need to rest. Sometimes the earth can enter into agreement with God or with man. Sometimes the earth can be called as a witness. Sometimes the earth can be sued or silenced. Sometimes as you read your Bible, you find that the earth can form an alliance in the dispute. The earth can wage war. The earth can devour men. The earth is capable of being sick. The Bible says, I will heal the land. The, the land can be sick. The earth from where man came for, therefore has living characteristics. All life is not the same. Plant life is different from animal life. Human life is different from insect life. Natural life is different from spiritual life. Human life is different from angels or demons' life. All life is life, but not all life is the same. So the earth has life, but life of its own. This is a serious matter. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 
verse 37. First Corinthians 15, verse 37. There are some strange prayers we need to pray here tonight. But the strange prayers will bring strange testimonies. First Corinthians 15, 37. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear grain. It may chance of wheat of some other grain. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him. And unto every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh. There is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another fishes, another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So, all life is life, but all life is not the same. The earth has life, but its life is the life of its own. What I've just tried to explain to you briefly now, satanic agents understand this deep truth more than Christians. Therefore, men have worshipped the earth for ages. Men have poured libations on the earth for ages. If libations have been poured on your land, then that land is in bondage. Every land recognizes its Lord. And the whole creation knows that the earth is the Lord. Ignorance on our part brings destruction. As you are sitting down there tonight, you might be waging war against the spirits from the earth or the spirits from the grave. If you do not exercise your right as a believer, the sinner man will exercise his own right. We need to rule our area. Through prayers, we must grant God access to rule our domain. If we don't, sinners and devils will do so. Hearing lies the great truth where I am going to start bringing out one by one now. Number one, you can address your life by speaking unto the day you were born. You can address your life by speaking unto the day you were born. You can address your life by speaking unto the day you got married. You can address your life by speaking to the day you graduated. You can address your life by speaking to the day you were baptized. You can address your life by speaking to the day you gave birth. You speak to that day and the day will listen to you. You can address your life by speaking to the day a business is inaugurated. That day is the beginning of the life of that business. You can address your life by speaking to that day. Why? Because every creation understands and obeys words from man when it is inspired by God. Two, we must speak positive and righteous words into creation. Speak it to them. Three, we must declare judgment where necessary. We must declare judgment where necessary. Either though, before now, creation has been obeying the voice of witchcraft, the voice of sorcery, the voice of incantation, the voice of divination, the voice of invocation. But when the perfect voice, our voice appears, all those imperfect voices will be ignored by creation. But if we keep quiet, the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the seas, they are all neutral bodies. So if they program it and you did nothing, it works against you. This is a tragedy. Serious tragedy. One great tragedy of the Christian life is that many of us don't wake up on time to pray. While we are sleeping, 
people of other religions are, that woken up earlier and they started speaking enchantment into the sky. They are spoken to the day, taking control of the day before you wake up. And so many of us wonder why are they going to the top? Why are they going to the top? It's because they wake up early, they speak to the moon, they speak to the sun, they speak to the stars, while most of us are snoring on our beds. One great tragedy of this current generation of Christians is that we are very lazy. Very, very lazy. Lazy pastors, lazy ministers, lazy choristers, lazy ushers, lazy Sunday school teachers. A very lazy generation. Not ready to sweat in prayers. Not ready to pray until something happens. This is very sad. And because of that, we're losing so many benefits. Words we have to speak, we're not speaking the words. What we should command, we're not commanding. What we should speak to, we're not speaking to them. And we are becoming gradual slaves. Unless we wake up quickly and take charge. If you don't take charge, the enemy will take charge. They understand this is what I'm telling you. It's most of us who don't understand. That's why our forefathers, they were worshipping the earth. And in this morning, they will call on the earth. If they want to report somebody, they report the person to the earth. We should speak words to control this ordinance. To speak for solution. We should release blessings. We should speak unto thrones, evil thrones. We should speak into the marketplace. I know a woman who came here many years ago when we taught something like this. She was an illiterate, but she understood the message. She used to cook in a primary school. About 14 caterers go to that large school to cook. Every day they will cook rice and take to school. Nobody will buy the rice. The students will just not come to where she is. They will go to the other caterers. So every day she is bringing back rice home without sale. No sale. She will bring the rice home. And every day the children were eating rice. Until one day the children said, Mama, don't, is there no other food? Why are we eating rice every day here? I don't know. Mama said, if you don't eat it, it will be wasted. So they have to be cooking fresh on every morning. Until she came and learned the principle. That she could speak into the market. She could speak onto the ground. She could speak onto the basin she using to cook. She could speak onto her spoons, onto her plates. She learned this principle. And she woke up early that morning. When she began to cook rice, she spoke to the evilies. I said, oh heavens, hear the word of the Lord. I program my profit unto you. I must prosper. What I'm saying now, I fasten it to the evilies. With the nail soaked in the blood of Jesus. Until I finish selling my rice. Nobody sells in that school anymore. Spoke. Used our authority. I went to that school. That day. <laughs> within 10 minutes. She was through. 10 minutes. She had finished selling. Nobody knew brought the students there. She had spoken. She did not know. That all those other Ketras tools, They have powers they were using. She has superior power which she refused to use. Many of us have been cheated. Some have lost promotion. Just sack you anyhow. Just took your money anyhow. You have words you can speak. You refuse to speak them. Where do we go from there? You say you are selling the market. You didn't speak to the market. That's why you are not selling. You complete that you are broke. You know where to speak to. To bring wealth into your bosom. You refuse to speak. You have to speak unto the marketplace. You speak unto the house where you are living. Speak unto that house. Some time ago we did something like this here too. And that house is not far from here. Six flats. Six tenants. Sorry. Six flats. Five tenants. The landlord was living in one flat. One person comes to Mountain of Fire. Four others were lecturers in the university. All of them. They brought cars to that house. One by one, they lost their cars. We will have thought the end of the tragedy. Then, from one flat to the other, if one child does not die, one child will be sick. If one child is not sick, somebody will have accident. The terrible things began to happen to the tenants. And it was as if all of them were inside a maze of 
manipulation, they did not understand what was happening. Until there was a teaching like this. And for the first time, it's as if somebody opened the understanding of the brother who was coming here. He now called the four other tenants and said, wait a minute, look here. Only this landlord is doing naming ceremony, is buying new cars, is doing things that people are rejoicing. No, no other person there is rejoicing or celebrating anything. That beloved, something is wrong here. Let us start praying. Those four lecturers were, st- were Christians too. They look at the brother. Then, nah, 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 nah. That's a wicked superstition. So the brother alone began to pray. He was in prayer one day when he heard the voice of the Lord. He said, son, go to the well in your company. I have something to show you. And he went to the well. And he said, son, take a bucket. Fetch water out of this well. Put in the bucket. Brought it out. He noticed that something was making crank, crank, crank inside the bucket. By the time we look, a big tortoise was in the bucket. Around that tortoise was tied this Islamic phylactery. And the names of all the tenants were scribbled on those things. The enemy had caged all their virtues. Can you raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this louder than anyone around? Environmental witchcraft. <laughs> Programmed to drink the blood of my prosperity. Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. Rise up on your feet. If you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered the life to Jesus, wherever you are, while all eyes are closed. Just raise up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who said that shall pray with me? Immediately we close. Just find a way to the altar here. Time has come for us to start those prayers. They may sound strange. It may appear as if you've not prayed them before. But I want to beg you and I want to appeal to you not to consider the strangeness of the prayers, but pray them mercilessly and violently. Immediately we start praying these prayers. A lot of things will begin to happen here. Some of those things will result in awesome testimonies. The serpent pursued the woman. The woman got wings to fly. But the wings was of no use now. Although they were eagle wings, the serpent vomited a flood of water to drown the woman. And the waters will have drowned the woman and her child. The Bible says, but the head help the woman. The head help the woman. There can be help from the head for you if you speak unto it. And when you begin to speak unto it, except that enemy does not walk on this ground. Except it doesn't eat what is coming from the ground. Except it doesn't live in a house built from the earth. That's why they can escape the arrows of the earth. Get yourself ready now. Can you shout this loud and clear? Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. By the power! In the blood of Jesus! Oh, earth! All eyes! Help me. That's the prayer. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud and clear? Sisters, please, can you shout it loud and clear? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Something.
Everything is happening already. That's right. Everybody together now. Jesus. Masa katenda kayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What's up on the kata? Riba Likatandaka. Oh, yes. Yes. Receive. Receive. Help. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I want to congratulate somebody over there. That's right. Oh yes. As a benefit, they've denied you for 13 years. But as you open your mouth there, they rush it to you. Say, Kora. Detan, Abiram, Kora, Detan, Abiram, Kora, Detan, Abiram, of my father's house. Can I hear you shouting that? Be swallowed by the earth. Can I hear you shouting it again? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. name we pray. This next prayer will go to any geographical location where they are divining evil against you. Arrows from the earth! Arrows! Pursue my pursue! In the name of Jesus! Arrows from the earth! That is it, that is it. Thank you, Jesus. Mosa tende kaya mo shanta. Aha, 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 aha. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting tonight, you normally feel as if somebody is pouring sand on you. But you cannot see the sand physically. Find a way to the altar and be on your knees. You, can't, you don't see any sand, but, but you know they are, what they are pouring on you is like sand. 
Those of you at the front here, if you are not ready to pray like thunder and fire, go back to your seat. Oh, because you will need that strong prayer to set you free. Because it means that the enemy is trying to bury you alive using the instrument of the earth. It means that somebody has been using the sound of the earth against you. So everybody will pray like fire and like thunder. You at the front, pray the way you've never prayed before. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. My virtues inside the earth come out now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Boko sopotandaka, bandika ribo soponde keyaba, banda kantanda rabo sopola kaya bo shanta, daribo sopola kaya bo koshente rabo so, beleke tende rabo sopola kaya bo shanta. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. We are not here to joke. We are here for serious business. Continue, continue, continue. The power of God in the name of Jesus move. The power of God in the name of Jesus move. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Let there be divine surgery to pick out from everyone any plantation of the sand. Just be delivered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, let the power and the blood of Jesus cause great deliverance to happen to your people here tonight. Now you don't pray a second part like this. Arrows of the sand fired against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Wherever you are now, I don't know you are going to do it. Lay your right hand on the earth. On the earth. Everybody, let lay that hand on the earth. Right hand. I would declare like this. Declare it violently. Say, so, oh hell! Hear the word of the Lord. Who amiss my blessings? In the name of Jesus. Masekatenda kaya boshenda. Yes. Yes. Oh, heart. Hear the word of the Lord. For me is my blessing. For me, them. 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 Masekate la kaya bo shendera ba. Bakato la kato ra bo sopo. Riabo li katanda. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. You can stand up now. Abenda. Thank you, Jesus. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There are plenty of transactions taking place here tonight. In those days, Moses took dust and blew into the dust. And the dust became boils on the bodies of the magicians. This is the next prayer I want you to pray. You want to use the weapon of the earth against any magic power assigned against you. Let your voice roar like thunder as you pray this particular prayer. As you pray this particular prayer. Bullets from the earth locate my enemies. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Let your voice roar like fire. In the name of Jesus, fire the bullets from the earth. Jesus name we pray Jesus now prophetically shake that head shake it shake it see what's happening now let that head go let that head go remove your wicked hand from that head Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Something is happening. That's right. Every stubborn high blood pressure, spirit of stroke and paralysis, lose your hold now. Jesus. Amen. Stretch your two hands forward. Father, the odd calls of fire that you place on the palm of Isaiah, on the tongue of Isaiah, lay it upon these hands now. So that the demolishing power of that coal of fire would demolish every power of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Now grab your head with your two hands now. The more you love yourself, the louder your voice shall be. You will raise up your voices and don't neg- this is not a day to negotiate. My head hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shout in the name. Jesus. Oh, yes. This is not a day to negotiate. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Open your mouth and cry loud and clear. My head, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shine. 
Arise and shine. Arise and shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you for your grace and for your power. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Tonight, lay your hands upon us. Open our understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Turn to somebody and shout at the person like this. I move from deficit to recovery by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can you shout it at the person? Amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. From deficit to recovery. We began to look at this and pray about it last week. Today we are reading from 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. I prophesy upon the life of somebody here. Everything the enemy has stolen from you, from your mother's womb till now, recover all. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray one prayer now. If you want to key into it, make sure that your tenfold amen is the loudest here. I decree upon someone here, that everything your ancestors have lost, anything that belongs to you that has been lost, or that has been unconsciously stolen, you did not even know it belongs to you, recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. David lost something. He had it before, but he lost it now. He had to pursue, overtake, and recover. Last week, I began to explain to you that promotions do not necessarily come to the best person. And I explained to you that life is not fair. There is no book where they wrote that life will be fair. So it's you who will determine that life has to be fair to you. A lot of people have lost so many things. Some have partially recovered. Some have fully recovered. But we need to recover all that the enemy has stolen. Some are rejoicing on partial recovery. It means you have a recovery. But there is a sign left behind that says, once upon a time, you lost something. If you had a wound, and the wound got healed, and left a scar, big scar behind, that is partial recovery. For example, in the case of Samson, it was partial recovery. He recovered his strength, but he never recovered the eyes that he lost. He had air on his head before. It was cut off. Then the air began to grow. But before it began to grow again, 
his eyes have been plugged out. So even though the air began to grow again, his blindness remained. But when we talk about total recovery, recovering all, we're talking about recovery in such a manner as if you have never lost anything. Job recovered all. Naaman the leper recovered all. That widow recovered a dead son. Anna recovered all. Lazarus recovered. That madman at Gadarens recovered. That sick man that was at the pool for 38 years recovered. The woman with the issue of blood recovered. All these people that I've mentioned, as God restored them, He will restore you in the name of Jesus. Something has been stolen from you. You are deprived of something. You need to recover them. Maybe it's physical, material, social, spiritual, financial, morally, freedom. You need to recover them. Maybe your health. Maybe your life. Maybe your joy. Maybe wasted years. Maybe your parts in life. It may even be your damaged soul. The soul has been damaged. You need to recover them. Listen. No matter how you were born, no matter how long you have possessed something, no matter how cocksure you are that certain things are super glued to your hand, no matter how strong you are, no matter how glorious your destiny, no matter how wealthy you are, there is a possibility that you can lose it. And a lot of people have lost so many things like that. There are agents whose duty it is to steal, to rob, to run a man into deficit. Number one, we call them problem expanders. A small thing like this, they now begin to expand it, expand it, expand it. Before you know it, it has become big. Started with a pimple on the face, then they begin to expand it. They begin to expand it. They became something else and became big. It could be a small swelling on the breast. They begin to expand, expand it, expand it. But it becomes something really big. Something really, really big. This is why I want you to raise up your right hand and pray with boiling anger. Anger. I say anger. Let holy anger well up within you as you shout this loud and clear. Pass! Expanding my problems. Your time is up. Down. In the name of Jesus. This is not a time to keep quiet. This is not a time to negotiate. The time for negotiation is not now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Aha! See what is happening! Pray. Amen. It started as a small fight. 
this pastor was leaving the house and the wife said put down money he said no money arguments shouting shouting on the woman he said I'm going to church the woman said you are going to church he said, that place you are going because of the shouting you shouted now you are coming back with disgrace but I said shut up it was a small fight husband wife the man now got to church. They put a case to him. A demonic man. And they asked him to pray. He laid his hands on the head of this demonic man. He started praying. All of a sudden, he found that the air of his own head was falling down. What is this? So he tried to use his hand to brush his head. More air fell down. And by the time he would go, a little bit further again. He had gone almost bald. Quickly, he dispatched the person he was praying for and started praying for himself. He started little in the house. And by the time it happened now, his hair had gone. He never recovered that hair till he died. Small problem. So, powers have to expand problems. They are enemies of recovery. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power trying to prolong your journey in the desert, I bury that power now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The second anti-recovery power, a very strong one indeed, Star Ijaka. Star Ijaka. Everyone has a star. You have a star. That your star is what God has planted in you to cause you to be celebrated. That your star is something in you that men bow for. That your star is something everyone puts in you to make you shine. But the star Ijakas. Who can see it, they can arrest it. Those wise men, they said, Where is he, born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. That was the star of Jesus. Some people were spiritually strong enough to see it. So if they could locate and see the star of Jesus, your own, that you are still praying and sleeping while you are praying, it's so easy to see. They don't need a microscope. And once they deal with that star, they, it will not kill you, but they deaden your destiny and make your destiny to be stammering when you should be talking straight. When MFM was in Old Yabba Road, there used to be a man who comes for our services. He got born again from occultism. He brought all his occultic books to be burnt. There about three bags. All those books were. Burned them. And he was always very happy. In the meeting, he's always very happy. Jumping up and clapping and rejoicing. But that was a service day. Just sat down. Downcasted. Unhappy, not singing. So I went to him. Sir, what's wrong? You are not your normal shovel self today. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said today, as I was coming from Lagos, I saw a boy sleeping under the bridge. I said he remembered that when he was still in the world of darkness, and they were doing the naming ceremony of this boy. That himself and one of his occultic friends were invited to the naming ceremony. And they saw seven stars on the head of that baby. But he took three. His friend took four. That's, so what is making him unhappy now is to see that boy sleeping under the bridge. Simply because we have taken his stars. I want you to raise up your right hand. And shout this loud and clear. 
Don't say it doesn't concern me. My star! What are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? Can you shout it loud? Jesus. Jesus. But part has said, Rio, for Katan de Kayabo Shenderaba. Da katende na mo sepone ke ya mo shen. In Jesus name we pray. Have your seat. One recovery prayer that needs to be prayed is attack on our stars. It is a serious matter. Like I told you last week, there are many talented people that are poor. There are many intelligent people who are hungry. There are many smart people who cannot know their right from their left. Certain forces that attack them is part of the intelligence. And they're in trouble now. Serious trouble. Such serious trouble that it's like somebody has failed an exam. But they were arguing that uh uh-uh, uh his handwriting is good. He has failed in spite of the good handwriting. The story is like that. I pray once again for all the boys and girls that are here. All the boys and girls that are here. That if there is any power toying with your star now. I bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. The third anti recovery power, we call them destiny killers. Destiny killers. That is, they completely eliminate the assignment that the person has on earth. Eliminated it. This boy was born as a professor, an intelligent professor, but then as a baby. The parents hired a housemaid who used to use mop of hot water to mop his head and was mopping the head, mopping the head. And started cooking his brain until the brain became dense and dull. So, although he has a destiny to become a professor, it has been cancelled, killed. To recover that one, it's not a gentle prayer. I shared with you here before. This girl was admitted to read medicine at University College Hospital in Bado, UCH. All of a sudden, when she got to year three, just became dull. She was saying nonsense. She was writing rubbish. She was not understanding what they were saying again. Ordinary hydrogen, oxygen, she's forgotten. Forgotten. So, she had to be withdrawn from the medical college. It got so bad. They now sent him to be lying, learning, tailoring and sewing. Withdrawn from Todia in medicine to now become an apprentice tailor. What a wickedness. It allows me to understand the prayers of the Samis who said, Let the wickedness of the wicked expire. The wickedness of the wicked. So they killed her destiny halfway until she went for deliverance. 
after seven weeks, seven weeks of constant, every week deliverance, she now remembered what happened. She found that she was in a dream, and a goat was marching majestically at her front. And when the goat reached her front, the goat used one leg to steer up sand into her face. That was all that happened. And from that day, she became a dunce. When prayers were now specifically said against whatever that goat represented, and command was issued that that sand should go back to the sender, it was then her brain cleared. The testimony is that she still got that medical degree in America. But if there were no facility for deliverance, if there was no mountain of fire, no prayer city, that's all. Finish. That's all we keep saying. Nobody comes to mountain of fire by chance. That's why it's good. When you come to mountain of fire, everything they are saying, obey. Because there is a God of mountain of fire. So when they give you instruction, you obey. When you don't obey, you should change yourself. After seven weeks, it took seven weeks to be able to recover this girl. And she went back to that medicine and got the degree from abroad. She was able to recover. I'm praying for somebody here. If your destiny has been killed, I command the destiny to wake up by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your elbow roar like thunder. I want you to understand that any power that kills a person's destiny is as good as if he has killed the person. Finish. I watched a film of the war in Liberia in Syria alone. I couldn't finish watching it. I started crying. Why? They take an able body man and you say, What do you want? Long sleeve or short sleeve? If you don't talk, then they decide long sleeve for you. They were cutting off the hands of men. If you say short sleeve, they cut it off from the elbow like this. If it's long sleeve, they cut it from here, from the shoulder. Now, when you cut off the two hands of an able bodied man, what can the person do now? Can he become a pilot? A driver? No. Baba, no. So you, you cut off most of what he wants to do for life. Likewise, in the spirit realm, they cut off people's hands. Physically, the hands are there, but it's been cut off and locked up in the coven or in the warehouse of a strong man. Can you close your eyes and in boiling anger, don't say, I don't think this concerns me. Say, any part of my body that is spiritually absent, I recover you, my friend, in the name of Jesus.
Number four, anti recovery power. It's the powers we call money swallowers. Money swallowers. Please try and understand. That every money a man could ever make in life is a spiritual entity which can be captured and the person may not get access to it. Already, the enemy has bombarded the earth with devourers. That is why tight is the one that closes the mouth of these devourers and not pain allows them to read you. Money swallows. A person will have a large amount of money just passing through the hand, passing through the hand, but the money never stays there. The Bible calls it a leaking pocket, or pocket with holes. The money swallows. What is the use in becoming a millionaire at the age of 95? Your teeth is gone. You can't eat anything serious. You can't go on plenty of holidays. You can you are not getting yourself again. What's the use? Meaning that the prayer we need to pray is the prayer of now. Now. Not after some time. No, no. Don't put that part of negotiation on the table. A lot of people are, are losing money to the mouth of the serpent every day. And the serpent keeps swallowing them. We need to recover this stolen totally well. We need to command that what they have stolen should be brought back. This is a very, very serious situation. And I want you to understand it. I prayed for a little girl some years back. She told me categorically that every money her daddy was going to make, that she's hanging it on top of an Iroko tree. And I said, how do we recover this money? She said, two ways. She said, either by sacrifice or by prayer. No, but I will recommend prayer. Say, because that sacrifice, we have a way of circumventing it. Say, I will recommend prayer. The father came and I told him. He got angry. He wanted to beat her. I said, okay. This is beyond beating. You have already given birth to a child that is older than you. So now it's recovery you should pray for. Instead of beating up. I'm praying for somebody here. Wherever your money is hidden, wherever the serpent has swallowed it, wherever your wealth has been buried, by a tenfold angry amen, recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. There are head manipulators. They manipulate the person's head. Turn the head upside down. The person will go into university, he will study the wrong thing, learn the wrong profession, do the wrong, wrong things. The head will be doing strange things. The head will not think straight. The brain will have been manipulated. The brain will have been injured. A lot of people need recovery from this. I shared with you before. Mommy, professor. Daddy, professor. When I go back to this boy, every examination, the boy comes last. It was a dunce. They got all kinds of teachers. No. No improvements. It will appear as if the more the teachers, the more the failure. They try beating him. They eventually discover that it doesn't work. Beating people because of their brain is a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I just punish the person's brain. They say the brain has a problem. You are beating the skin. Then, one day, they came to a meeting like this. Just a meeting like this. And there was a word from the Lord. That's why sometimes it's dangerous to miss meetings. Because... You don't know the day your word will come. The word came from the Lord. There is somebody here whose brain has been converted to sawdust. He's recovering it now. They didn't even know it was them. 
But they said, Amen anyway. All of a sudden, during the following exam, because this boy, if there are 36 people in class, his position will be 36. When they add people to the class and the class becomes 40, his position moves to 40. Now, the following exam, after that word of knowledge, the boy moved from position 40 to first. The teachers couldn't believe it. Said, oh, it's not possible. So they took him to the staff room. They set another exam. More difficult than even the one they did in the examination. The mystery is that he did even better. There has been a recovery from head manipulation. I'm praying once again that any arrow fired into anybody's brain will backfire in the name of Jesus. Light on Emma, rule like thunder. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet. We'll continue next time. Rise to your feet now. But you see, if you are in this meeting and you are not born again, you have not just under the life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now by saying what I'm going to say after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Recovery prayers, unfortunately, they are not gentlemen's prayers. Recovery prayers, they are prayers that the whole of your faculty will know that you are praying. They must know that you are praying. Therefore, with a voice that roar like thunder, you will start the first recovery prayer like this. Please, please, don't say, but we have prayed this kind of prayer before. We have prayed this kind of prayer. Don't say that one at all. Aha. Can you shout this loud and clear? Destiny Robert! Can you shout it loud? You are a liar! Yeah. In the name of Jesus! Jesus! Having said that, we are now in a position to give this serious command. Serious command. Can you shout this loud and clear? Ancestral power! Release my virtues! Kaya bo 
Shende Rabo Sepela Kanta. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Jesus name we pray silence don't say anything now you strangers it is written and as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their closeness every stranger inside the body the stranger inside the blood the stranger that wants to embarrass and disgrace you hear the word of the lord that place you are it's not your habitation get up now as the first person is going get up now that's number two get up now that's number three any sickness unto death inside the body i bind you i cast you out 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 i bind you i cast out of that body in the name of jesus can you shout this loud and clear Thank you, Jesus. for 27 persons this week even if you don't feel concerned pray the prayer fire of favor that cannot be quenched then possess me now in the name of Jesus then we pray with a voice louder than anyone around you if you can still ask here yeah, somebody pray if you've not started prayer this is 70 days pastor's prayer meeting my glory hear the word of the lord get out of the room of battle Can you say it? In which room did you command you to get out from? Room of battle. My glory! Hear the word of the Lord. Get out of the room of battle. In the name of Jesus.
be released, 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 be released. Aha, aha! Now the power of God coming upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, sir. Holding wicked meetings against me. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, no matter my background. Receive, receive the anointing to be great. Receive the anointing. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha! Aha! Then we pray the next series of prayers. They are not gentlemen's prayer. As we pray this first prayer, if you are here and somebody physically approached you and told you to your face, that I will destroy you. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Pray the way you've never prayed before so that their arrows can go back to their senders. This is a very, very serious matter. Pass! That hates my existence. Can you shout it loud? Jesus. Don't negotiate. This is not a money to negotiate. Catella Kaya Boshendera Bosenta Ribo Sopole Kaya Boko Shatia
mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Shout this is where I'm going to shout my own. Strong man! Stubborn pursuer! Your time is up! Down! In the name of Jesus! Shout it, shout it. Don't negotiate. Strong man. Stubborn pursuers. Your time is up. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. You that infirmity in the breast. You the infirmity in the backbone. You the infirmity in the womb. You the infirmity in the eyes. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written by the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ. The people of God are healed. You are a stranger where you are. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 There are 71 women here. This 71 women. The amen you are going to say to this prayer now will bring you unending laughter. Father, I'm praying for this woman. Makita Nikayabu Shinderaba. Everywhere they have tied down your children. Repossess them in the name of Jesus. Repossess them. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. Jesus. Amen. I am going to pray now. 
after the prayer i'm going to ask you to pray because already the cloud of god's power is hanging all over this place for those who will pull it down upon their own heads father as many as are here today you said when the day of pentecost was fully come cloven tongues as of fire came upon those who are gathered father gather those tongues of fire upon this place now and as many as will call upon you here let your power your glory your mightiness your anointing overshadow them in the name of Jesus with the power of God upon you receive power to draw the power upon your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now with a voice that roars like thunder as many as love their destiny can you shout this loud and clear Holy Ghost power I am available overshadow my life in the name of Jesus continue continue open that mouth open that mouth don't be afraid receive it 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 Louder, 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 louder. See what is happening. See what is happening. Yes, Basikatela Kaya Boshanda. Fire, 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 fire. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Those of you who have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with a loud voice begin to pray in tongues. Those of you who have not received them begin to ask for the fire 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 makate sete la kaya bo shenda ribo se peni katenda kaya bo ko shetera bo soto deri de ketende la bakaya bo ko shentera bo sanda mali katende la bo sopo la kaya bo ko Ribo soponde ke yebo shete rabo koseta Makatenda ribo kosopo la kayaba Bo kayabo koshompo la kayabo shente raba Ribo sopo la kayabo shanta Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Power to terrify all your enemies. Yes. Receive it. Father, we thank you. Power that cannot be insulted. Power that cannot be reproached. Power that cannot be disgraced. Receive that power in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. The anointing to become terror to the kingdom of darkness. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every handwriting and pattern of non-achievement in my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every handwriting and patterns of non-achievement in my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every handwriting and patterns of non-achievement in my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I release myself from every family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Jesus, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I shall not fail because God does not fail in the name of Jesus. I shall not fail because God does not fail in the name of Jesus. I shall not fail because God does not fail in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and lead me to the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, lead me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, lead me with the right people in the right place. In the name of 